recording as we started again. So, where we left off, the party itself, all of you, had reached the town of Dor Dor. Dorbador, yeah. Ugh. After losing a party member's pet to some <laughs> giant boar. Oh, death of a pet, man. Yes. Sad times. He's gonna go all John Wick and wipe out all boars on the continent. He could try. <laughs> Anger the boar gods. Or I just... Oh, yeah, I, you'll probably go get angry with me. I skinned it. All. <laughs> yeah, you skinned and, it. You cooked it. You did everything. Harvested it. Yeah. That sounds bad, doesn't it? Harvesting it? <laughs> hmm. survival. We had barely any food left. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I also... I put... Uh, it was three giant boar skins, right? Yeah, uh, well... One yes. was burned to a crust. Yeah. And then four boar tusks, a goat pelt, and goat horns. I put that into party loot. Alright. Ah, so, as you all enter the door. You were greeted by a stone wall with a little force of dwarves just standing by. Some humans just looking down on all of you. Uh, sounds like pricks. Well, they're on a wall. Automatically means they're pricks. If you're on a wall, you're a prick. That means you must die. We are the watchers on the wall. <laughs> and we're gonna get Nope, okay. Well, it's a Game of Thrones reference, I assume. Yes. Very much a Game of Thrones reference, yes. Yeah, I never watched so, Game of Thrones. So, there's just a stone wall here? Yeah, there's a stone wall, mm -hmm. and through the stone wall there is a town. Uh, there's hey, just... DM. Yeah? I think it would be better just to wait for a day, because it feels weird just doing this with two out of a four party. Don't don't <laughs> worry. You're, you're going to go to a tavern, and stuff's going to happen. Don't worry. The other two party members will die instantaneously. Yeah, they all have uh, a heart attack. Finger of death. Finger of death. zombies. <laughs> just a, a, a stray finger of death and a power word kill. Just come out of nowhere <laughs> and just slap them in the face. And as at that moment, he realized he fucked up. <laughs> it's it's fake. Um, a gate opens out of nowhere. I'm, I'm reading. A beholder comes out, kills the party, and then runs back inside the gate. Yeah. Like, well, I was gonna suggest if we if we're gonna wait for day, we can play cards against humanity until then. <laughs> oh no no no! I I have things planned. Don't don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. All right. It's just so this uh, stone wall has a way past it, I presume. Yes. Uh, as you get closer and closer, uh, one of the doors on the ground uh raise a hand to you, uh, pretty much telling you. Hey, stop. Please. I stop the carriage. Alright. Yes. We'll just... Um, hello, friend. Hello. More or less, we need to check your... Uh, your cart for contraband. A few other things. Like, if you're... Go. Well, hiding things. Go right ahead. All we have are um, some uh, hides from some giant boar that attacked us on the road, and a ring. All right. 
walks and you see he has this small monocle as he raises it to his eye and just looks at everything. Are you uh are you in fur bulk form or are you in human form? Uh fear bulk. Okay. Just looks uh, there's no him. real reason for me to disguise myself right now. Yeah. He just looks through the party, just inside the cart, under the cart, and just like, all right, you all are okay. You can pass. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day. And I go through the gates. Yeah. My first stop is to find a tavern. <laughs> With a uh, place where I can park the cart and everything, too. Alright. As you slowly work through looking for taverns, hey, there's one noticeable one. It has a few. Uh, it's about a two story room or building. Uh, you can pretty much see uh, the street outside of it. And once you get to it, you can smell it. It smells weird, but also good. Can I roll to see what it smells like? <laughs> Go ahead. What do I roll? Nature? What's say nature? Okay. It's... One of the strangest mixes of spices you've ever smelled. Interesting. It's as if they went to a store or a vendor, bought all their spices, took handfuls of everything, and just threw it into a pot, shook it, and then tossed it into the air, just so people could smell it. Interesting. It's more or less what you would suspect. That's what it more or less smells like. But uh, as you step down from your car and take on the walkway to it, uh, some sp pretty much light slowly grow from the ground and just sparkle. Just as you walk by, just lighting up the area slightly, then going back inside. Okay. As you open the door, uh. The room and all the furniture is what you would suspect Dwarven made. Uh, most of it is uh, iron, uh, but made to look nice and what you would suspect comfy. Uh, I'm guessing this is a Dwarven city? Yes, yes it is. It's in the Silver Brick. So. Good to know. Most towns here are Dwarven. Hmm. But uh, well, we're right now. This is a pretty small town, right? Uh, yes. It, it's not the largest, but it it isn't terribly sized. Okay. But uh, sounds good. Once you walk in, uh, a human female at the bar, uh, serving some dwarvish men a drink. And uh, as you walk in, she looks over to you all and smiles. How may I help you all? Um, I need... We need a place to sleep for the night. But, um, also... Why did I go to that accent? What the fuck? <laughs> voice, man. I lost my voice. <laughs> um, yes, uh, we are looking for a place to rest for the night. But also to, um, keep our uh, cart and horses. I can have my son look after your car till take it to the stables and uh we can get you a room. Uh what types of room are you looking for? Two person, four person, one person? Um four one person rooms, please. That can be arranged. And uh she takes out a smaller book and uh could I have your names? Rope. She no, bro. All right, and uh, your two allies will say their names. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. And, right. The two will follow the comatose. 
Yeah. Uh, By the way, one person rooms just because Rook needs to get the fuck away from all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's include. <laughs> Not you, Navroth, more like Day and the door. And if you notice, I don't call him by his name anymore. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> he doesn't deserve his name. <laughs> so, uh, It'll be five silver for the rooms. For Five silver each. Um, so I, I'll just give two gold. Oh, well, thank you. And, uh, and she takes it. Thank you for paying properly. Yeah. With the correct amount. For the <laughs> correct amount. And also, not that many people pay in gold. Especially around here. Uh, that's all I have. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, It's all we've been paid with besides platinum, which I used all that stuff. So. Yeah. But uh, it's like walking into a garage and like paying with fifty for a stick. I of did. I did. Uh, I used my platinum to buy my uh, quiver, man. My enchanted quiver. So. Okay. Um. And she also uh, reaches down, grabs four different keys, and hands one to all of you. Your room number is on the key. Um, thank you. Thanks. You're um, welcome. What time of day is it? Right now it's about four. Four in the evening. Um, when's supper? Uh, we do have that. Whenever more or less you feel like it. We have a uh, open breakfast, but the supper will need to be paid for separately. Understood. Um, also, um, and I turned to Navroth, who has all the boar meat, I believe, yes? Yeah. Um, would you know where we could sell some of uh, this meat we got off of some giant boars we uh, ran across during our travels? She thinks for a second. We do have a butcher. Uh, mm. He's more or less down the street. You'll, you'll uh, notice. And would you guys take any? Uh, we have our own supply of boar. And she, uh, you see it written in common and dwarvish. Uh, behind her is like a menu and one of the main menu deals is a boar cake with uh, barley biscuits we also need a, a tanner for the skins um, we, yes. we uh, have a tanner too thank you um, I'll take my cake well, I already took my cake yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll be back for uh, dinner and uh, I'm going to head back to where our cart is all right. And grab those skins, and I'm gonna make my way to a tanner. All right. And while you're there, you see a smaller boy, a human also, just uh grab the horse's reins and slowly lead him to a, uh, a stable not too far away. Okay. Um. I'm gonna hit uh, the butcher uh, and try and sell yeah. him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> my meat. <laughs> <laughs> Selling your meat, man. I didn't know. Um. Uh... Well, have fun on Central. <laughs> the reference that no one gets. I'm an escort on the side. <laughs> <laughs> an hey. old dragonborn. I'm an escort. Hey, on the side. everyone has a thing for mature and also dragonborn scalies and mature scalies. Who oh boy? <laughs> I'm gold. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever rode the red no golden dragon before? Well, now you will. <laughs> God damn it. But okay. Oh, yeah. We'll start with the butcher. As you reach the butcher, it's a larger dwarf, uh, just with a large meat cleaver, cutting down into what you see as a deer, just like cleaving off the meats as he looks over at you and like, oh. How Hello. much meat could we have gotten off of uh, the burnt, the one that was burned alive? Uh, not much. But some. Um, some yes. How much and pounds of meat, if I may ask, would uh, three and like a quarter four be? Uh, giant four. Giant. Just trying to think of that. You would probably have gotten about three hundred and fifty pounds of meat. Plus a giant a ram, so. Yeah, plus a ram, so about four hundred. Well, that's a lot of meat to sell. 
Yep. And just walk over to this guy and like, how oh, can I help you? Hey, me and my uh, companions were on the road here and we came across some giant boars. We uh, cut them down and took some of their meat. Wanted to know if you'd be interested in any of that. Uh, how much uh, meat is uh, About 350 pounds of boar meat and 50 pounds of ram meat. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, that's good prime meat, though. It is. Yep. Actually, like... no, not ram, not ram. We ate the ram, and then like I dried oh, and yeah. kept leftover ram we had. I actually forget the ram. That was very good, but uh, we already had some of it. Okay, uh, that can be worked on. And you see, he just give me a moment. I will need to. Count up how much I would be able to pay, and uh, you see he walks into a back room. <laughs> Three hundred gold worth of meat. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a lot of meat though. Probably like a hundred of meat. Maybe. I wish there was um a uh, reference for that shit within the D and D, but there's not. Damn. Yeah, they have beef chunks. I mean, it would vary depending on where you are. Like, mm -hmm. In some cities, a lot of meat would be really useful. In other cities, it wouldn't be. It's like trying to sell fish to a fisherman. Sure. You, uh, he comes back. I, I'd be willing to give you about eight, uh, 80 golds worth. I'm like, How long have you had it? I don't know. How long have you had it? Like a few days? Oh god, uh, you had it since the four, so... Two, it's around here. Four, about five to six days. But I cured it. I did try to cure it as You tried to I cure could. it, and also it was flat, well, flash frozen. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's really fresh. It's fresh. Uh, we've had it about five days now, but uh, we cured it and kept it cold. So it should be pretty fresh. Okay. I'll be willing to pay you about 90. 90 gold. Is that good for you? How about we round that up to a nice round 100 gold? Oh, persuasion. Yes. That's all I want. 100 gold. And Navroth can split it with me. <laughs> mm. Don't Sounds good. Mm. Damn. That's pretty good. It's fresh. Yeah. It's like it was frozen and everything. It's really yeah. fresh. Like, uh, yeah, yes. And pretty much what he has you do, he walks into the back. He gives you the hundred gold. He also has a bag of holding himself, and once he opens it, you can actually see frost coming from the inside mm -hmm. of the bag. Mm. Just all right. Bag of holding, more or less. Yeah. It's a for, yeah. it's a portable refrigerator, and he just yeah. Those are that's a freeze bag, isn't it? It's something, yeah. It, normally, you would know the uh, Hunter's Guild uh, sell these commonly for hunters that, like, alright, I want to keep these. I need to get one. <laughs> yeah, they're willing. Like, anyone of Fang rank can purchase them. It's just the higher rank you are, the lesser it'll be. I'm Wolf, yes? Yeah, you are a wolf. But uh, he pretty much has you put your bag not inside as he just... All right, now fold your bag inside out. <laughs> but you, that's all you have in your bag, right? Yeah, I actually don't think I have anything else in there. So and I do, do not that. drop your bag in there. Do not drop <laughs> your bag in there. <laughs> yeah. Both. No, you both it's get shot yeah. into the astral plane. <laughs> Just, boom. where's our butcher? <laughs> <laughs> where's our dragonborn? Became yeah. meat to an astral dreadnought. Yeah. <laughs> Or you get picked up by the Githy Yankee. Uh, and enslaved? <laughs> enslaved. Or you can get picked up by the Githzari. And then not enslaved. Upside. Still uh, still in the outer plains, man. Yeah, you'll be, they'll take you to Limbo, at least. <laughs> like, that's better. <laughs> our characters don't know. Our, the only thing our characters know is... Because, like, when you buy a bag of holder, like... Do not, under any circumstances, do this. <laughs> yeah. 
It's more or less <laughs> like, all... it's a ribbon that they keep like on the side. Don't drop this in another one. Please. Yeah. It's like the tags on God, mattresses. No. Yeah. Don't rip. <laughs> rip it, it explodes. Well, yeah, you don't rip a bag of holding. They're harder to rip, that bag of holding. Oh, no, it's just a label. Yeah. Don't rip. There's a, um, It's a magically yeah, the sewn in with a fireball spell. <laughs> you just tear it, boom. Uh, <laughs> but pretty much you're able to dump all the meat inside of his bag. It's like, all right. He ties it off. It'll stay good for about a month now. It's good. Pleasure doing business with you. Always. If you ever need any more meat, we're here. But I think you'll be okay. Probably. But, uh, and so I'm going to be... I'm heading to the tanner to sell the... Uh, uh, the hides, but also um, see if I can sell the uh, ram horn and the uh, tusks as well there. Yeah. Then I'm That's you. It's basically a hunter's lodge. It's where they sell their shit. Yeah, they're yeah. Uh, okay. the hunter's guild purchases trophies, and then tanners mm -hmm. purchase. Hunter's guild is always willing to purchase hunted items. But it's I'm guessing smart. the tanner and the hunter's guild is like really near each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like across the street. They're more or less side by side and connected to each other. They're literally oh, the so same building. There, then. Yeah, they're the oh, same yeah. building. So the tanners within the hunter's guild makes sense. So um, yeah, I go to the tanners. All right, as you head in, uh, literally like the giant boar hide uh, is this. All of it is in the ram, and everything is draped across my shoulder. For me, and I'm guessing if that if we draped it over the dwarf, it'd cover the dwarf entirely. For me, it's just like a cape, a half cape. Yeah, the dwarf and the half elf are staying in their rooms, grieving for the loss of the ram. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So I head into uh, the tanner. Need to turn the uh, goat horns into a, a mug for drinking. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna keep those ram horns, actually. All right, you do so. Um, but uh, as you walk in, like, uh, hello, a gnomish man, surprisingly. It's like, to look up. Hello. Hello. How can I uh, be assistance? Do you? I just take take the highs off of it and put it on the counter. I'm guessing in front of me. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I don't even know how much that weighs. Yeah, it weighs a little bit. Okay. So that's three hides. Well, I could have skinned the the fourth one. It would just be a ruined hide. Yeah, it would. You could have sold it if you want to. I'll. Yeah, I'll sell the that one as well. That one I don't expect a lot from, but it's scrap. They can use that for like bindings for armor and shit. Okay. Ooh, he looks out. All right. Uh, we've been on the road for a while. Um, how long was the travel? About six, seven days. Um, about a week. Uh. Came across these bastards. Okay. He looks out. I took care of them, so that'll help. Uh, and you have the tusks too. Uh, yes, I present those as well. Okay, six tusks. Like uh, he looks at you, looks down. Are you a member at uh the hunters guild? I uh open my cloak to show the the wolf. Ah, there you go. I need to know. You get a better price. So let me do the math, my friend. Uh, that's a real... Actually, this is pro I've probably been to Dorbledore before. Cause I li <laughs> this is probably where I signed up for the Hunter's Guild. <laughs> probably. But too many people. You just have a lot of people coming to your town over and over again. Just to get to, uh, you would know of the town of Salt Run. A lot of people go there. 
for literally it, there's a giant salt mine there. Yeah, I probably signed up here like a couple hundred years ago though. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> about 200 how old am i 312 so about 200 and something years ago i signed up for the hunter's guild in door door <laughs> it's been a while and i spend most of my days in the elven territory he uh, he takes the like, i'm willing to pay you about since you're a member 150 for all of this um Sounds good. Um, I was wondering, uh, do you know where I could buy a uh, freeze bag? Oh, he just gives you like dumbfounded look in 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 there, and he points to the main guild hall. Uh, all you have to do is talk to one of the uh, uh, desk people, and uh, oh, they'll you. they'll probably get you set up. I'm gonna pull out one of the horns for the ram. Um, what about this as well? Uh, ram, 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 ram. He thinks to himself a little bit. It's pretty much a big goat. Um, I can give you maybe six gold. Uh, no, uh, sorry, wrong on that one. Uh, maybe five, five gold. Okay. Um, deal. And I take the hundred and fifty-five gold. All right. So, oh god, I have to do math. Uh, See, surprisingly, if you start killing random things and skinning them and taking all their shit, uh, you would make money. Make you know, bank. there's a lot of people in this city. A lot of people I'm skin. Yeah. Like, um, do I'll you tell actually you, have any uh, Tanner's tools? That, well, yes. Um, any for sale? Well, I can scrounge some up. Do you want? How good of a condition? Um, decent. They don't have to be brand new, but at least uh, usable. Okay. Get, give me a few seconds. And you walk One into... Mississippi, two Mississippi. Mississippi. Once you get about to about 30 miss, uh, <laughs> thirty sanguine conclaves... Uh, <laughs> Sanguine conclaves. <laughs> Thirty-one sanguine conclaves. Oh god, that's a tongue twister, man. Uh, and he comes back out with a few, like a roll of tools, like in a leather roll. It's like there you go. And he unrolls them, like it's fairly nice tools. I can give them to you for about uh, four gold. Okay. No! Yeah. Okay. Um. He hands them to you. Cool. Tanner's tools. Well, uh, it's leather workers. Or leather workers. Yeah. I'll, I looked for Tanner's tools and like, well, it's not in here. Oh, yeah. Leather, leather worker. worker. I'm taking leather working tools because I'm a hunter. Why wouldn't I have this? Alright. I now have her uh, herbalism, carpenter, and leather worker. Uh, tools of the trade, man. Yeah, I'm guessing I would know how to use these at least a little bit. You would know how to know use them a little. You're not completely trained. No, I'm not proficient. I understand that, but yeah, I'm saying I would know how to use them. Yeah, like what everything does at least. Yes. Okay. That's all I needed. Okie dokie. Um, and then I head to the main hall and see if I can get the freeze back. Yeah, it's fairly That's easy. Better. Uh. Once you walk in, a uh, few people greet you, uh, more or less ask for your rank. Uh, wolf. Okay, alright. Could I get your name? I need to mark it down. Uh, Roke Greenwood. Green. Alright. Now, uh, what can we do for you today? Um... First off, I was wondering if, uh, how much a freeze bag would it be? Uh, hmm. Let me double check for a wolf. And, uh, he gets up, leaves again, uh, comes back. Like, it would cost you about, uh, mainly because the extra enchantments needed to freeze the things, keeping them for about an extra week or two. Uh, it cost you about maybe 600 gold. 
Uh, hmm. I'll have to come back to that. But um, the second order of business. Um, is there any contracts for any beasts or anything like any uh criminals around this area? Where the um any animals? Let me. Mm. Step. He sets back down, pulls out like a small book, and flips through. Like, ah, uh, I have a few people that are wanted, but uh, we do have a few things. A uh, pack of wolves are bothering people uh, near uh, Tulbirum. Uh, I don't know how large. Yeah, uh, there is. Also, another pack of wolves uh, near me side. Uh, fairly recently came up. Uh, started hacking people, things like that. Uh, some people have been going missing in. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Oh. <laughs> Looks down, reads again. Like. Ben, we here. He just looks over at like one of the other, like people. He he's a half elf, and just like looks uh, over at another. Where is it on the map? <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit! That's a while away. Like there's a, uh, a lot of disappearances going on over there. Like, from what Should it says he, uh... here, six people have gone. Nope, seven, seven now. Like, uh, you would know the people that work the front desk have a, pretty much a ledger that updates. Magically? Magically, because it's connected via all ledgers, ah. more or less. Hmm. Um. Well, uh. Hmm. And there's other uh, small things, but. Uh, how much does that pack of wolves pay? A pack of wolves near here. Uh, and uh, Thun Berim. Thun Berim. Uh, yes. That would uh, pay about 50 gold if you take care of the pack of wolves. And if you bring back their pelts, things like that, we will be able to pay you more. Uh, if there turns out to be something more than a pack of wolves, that has before. Uh, we will pay the difference just in case. Understood. Um, and uh, is there any uh, other details to the contract? Uh, not really. We just uh, the town wants the pack of wolves gone. Um, no one has signed up for it. If you want to. Um. Yes. I'll put my name down. Alrighty. You write down your name, and I need your name to sign here too. Uh, to sign it in uh, Elvish. Ooh, fancy! And he marks it down and tears out the page as a new page forms. It is um, now done. It is yours now, and he rolls it up uh, and hands it to you. When does the contract expire? You have about uh, two weeks. Uh, how long is the travel from Torpador to Thornbreen? Because I've been and I've traveled throughout this area <laughs> of the world, you know, like just from here. Actually, I've like traveled throughout these areas, you know. Yeah. Uh, this is my home turf. This is my home turf. Uh, they say, well, you would know that it's up to six to eight days. Hmm. Uh, with a cart. With a cart. Yes, six to eight days. Okay. Um, I'll be traveling out there within the morrow. Oh, thank you. Right. Then I wish you good luck on your hunts. Good hunting to you as well. <sighs> thank you. And I'll leave. I was hoping to get a cold bag, but Jesus, I don't have the money for it. Yeah, it's pretty much a bag of holding with cold enchantment. <laughs> Put it a comes... sword in there. <laughs> it's frozen. It could. You know, ooh, it can hold a sword. It's just, just a sword gonna get cold. Yeah, it's gonna be cold. 
which is bad for a sword. Yeah. <laughs> because if I pull that out and then attack with it, probably will fracture. Mm. If it's unenchanted. True. If it's not enchanted. If it's a plain steel sword, uh, the cold temperature will uh, make it brittle. Until yeah. it melts and heats up over time. But, uh... You head back to the tavern. Yep. You find your friends there. Uh, about at this point, it would be about five. <coughs> okay. Um, I give... Since the other two are moping, I will give 50 gold to Mr. Um, or paying 50 of the, um, giving him a cut, you know? Mm hmm So I give you 50 gold, Mr. Mopla. And I give Rogue 50 gold. Why did I do that? that <laughs> <laughs> so you hand me the bag of gold, and I'm like, oh, thank you for the 50 gold. Here's your cut of the meat. 50 gold. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most useless thing we could have done. Thank you. Um, I flagged down a, a uh, bar wench? Yeah, there was waitress? a waitress. Whatever the fuck you call it. A wench. I, call, I flagged down a wench. <gasps> <laughs> How could you? It slaps you. It's a joke, man. They're a 20th level monk of the quivering palm. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Your insides explode. You. Unarmed strike, I die. Yeah. One how, hit. How can I assist you? Um, what is uh, on the menu for tonight? Well, we have the normal basic foods, uh, but we have our specials. A boar cake with barley biscuits, uh, a vegetable pie with some brandy, and... I'll uh, take the vegetable pie. That can be arranged. It only cost four silver. Uh... I actually drop a gold piece. That's for a tab and also a tip. Actually, for a tip. Uh, thank you. And, uh, um. And she'll leave and come back with a large. It's one of the chicken pot pies. Just bigger. It's a little bigger than a you know, like a microwavable chicken pot pie. Ah. Uh, and it comes okay. out with a size of not large about half a hand the size brandy glass okay I'll sip my brandy and uh eat my food all right and you do so I'll be right back I have to put my cat out I'm a fear bulg. I don't eat a lot of it, uh, meat but I do but I just prefer vegetables Never eats a lot of meat. I think he only, like nearly exclusively eats meat. You guys are carnivores, though. Yeah, like the only non-meat stuff he has is essentially like for Berries. flavor. Yeah. Like if he's just must the small snack. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So, Neveroth, what do you do? Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm too strong, just like a... Whatever's on top. Could you repeat that? Sorry. I'm just gonna get a drink. Like, nothing particularly strong. Whatever's on top. That the barkeep recommends. Alright, they have an ale. It will cost you, like... It gives you, like, a nice mug of ale. Uh... About two silver. Compared right. to most ales you've tasted, it's pretty nice, even for a cheaper ale. So, as the night goes on, you drink, your friends drink. Day's a sad drunk. Um, I can't make that decision, but I will. Um, for the time being. She's sad because of the regardless. 
Yeah. Add that as a flaw. Just put that in your character sheet. Sad drunk. <laughs> Turns out sad drunk. It'll be a personality trait. <laughs> You're actually adding it? Nice. God. My cat is... Can you not? Please. Oh. Stop. I'm going to uh, approach Rogue. Or what I suppose I'm already at. The same table, presumably. So I'm going to turn towards him. So, uh, what's our final destination here? Where are we heading to again? Well, um, for now we're going to head to Thulberim. I took a contract to hunt a pack of wolves that's bothering the people there. And from there we'll go into the Irvine Woods. Okay. Sounds good. I continue drinking. All right. And you drink until you all fall asleep. And as you do, the dreams are strange. You dream of the night in Sirius. Your the opening feet or the opening fight. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh where you fought the werewolf man and the minotaurs and so on as those dreams start to flutter they fade out as you open your eyes but it's strange you're in a darker room just to where only Rook and Neva, you're in the room alone. Well, the both of you, with a throne in front of you, and a door beside it. Hmm. This is strange. Do we feel? Like we're fully awake, or yeah. still kind of in that dreamlike state? You feel like you're awake. Uh, are there any windows or anything in here? No. It is a completely stone room. A perfectly... a, a nice carved stone. I'm going to search around the room. All right. A roll a investigation. And with the twelve, as you feel around, the stone is nice. It, the only negative thing here is just how the room is dark. Uh, you find a door, which you've seen before. It is just. Strange. You bastard. Do we have all of our stuff? You do. I'm gonna light a torch. I can't see in the dark, so... Uh, do I have... Explorer's pack, what does that come with? My pack, a bedroll, and this kid, a tinderbox, ten torches. Yeah, I'll light a torch as well. Alright. As you all light the torches... The light feels the room, and just the slow flicks of flame. You all hear just a single voice. <laughs> so, you all can't see in the dark. Strange. Yes, you'd think dragonborns could see in the dark, but no. Most you think beer bogs could? <laughs> nope. One moment. I was actually checking my spells to see if I had dark vision. <laughs> don't have it. I also don't have light, so. Just keep casting Firebolt. 
Produce light. <laughs> or produce flame. Produce flame's a good one. Could set something on fire with shocking grasp. True. Or any of my other fire things. Can also be fire. Are you a fire mage, man? <laughs> Bas basically, yeah. Mm. My whole thing is built around gold dragons, which uh, gives me a lot of fire stuff. I burn shit real good. So, how you doing, bud? I'm freaking out, man. This is so weird. I'm changing my character's flaw because this seems like more like him. Because this is how it seems like it is right now with everybody in the group but you. <laughs> I am perpetually disappointed in the abilities of other people. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why I chose that, right? You. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at our party, man. I've almost killed the dwarf three times now. Definitely a fun uh, party dynamic we've got going on. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely do you think the dwarf's going to survive this campaign? Well, it depends on how you all go. Okay. Change that. How likely do you think he will not be killed by Rook? It all depends on how the player goes. <laughs> I'm playing my character. I know you're playing your character. By the way, I changed this flaw because it seems to go with what our party mainly consists of, which is I'm perpetually disappointed in the abilities of other people. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's Rook. That's Rook with Day. That's Rook with Dwarf. The only person he doesn't isn't disappointed in is Navroth, and he's barely spoken to him. <laughs> yeah. Oof. We can Rook and Navroth have a very. I like our relationship between our characters, Navroth, because it's basically like I respect you, you respect me. Let's leave each other alone. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's like we're we're the silent companions. So we don't give a f <laughs> we're good with each other. It's the other people we need to st stop from fucking everything up. Yep. <laughs> We're acquaintances. Business partners. Yeah. But uh, you all hear this voice uh, pretty much encircle the room. Can I cast Detect Magic using Fearable Magic, sir? The entire room is filled with magic. Lovely. Yeah, but you do sense a greater part, not on the throne, but behind it. Just a concentration of it. Can I investigate? The behind the throne? Uh -huh. Yeah, you can. Is my familiar here? Yes, it is. You can make it appear, and it appears. Nope. Yeah, you don't see anything. Hmm. Nevroth, help me with this. I'm gonna try to move the throne a little bit to see if I can see behind it. You can't. The throne is pretty much built into the stone floor. Damn. Hmm. Hmm. Go investigate that door, see if it's trapped. Yeah, I'll help him check out the door. As you get to the door and you try the door, it's no, not. No, I'm investigating the oh. door. <laughs> yeah, okay. Roll investigation. I have help from Navroth. 
does not help. Uh, it doesn't seem trapped. Does your reach and touch it? It's locked. And it explodes. Yep. It's, it's locked. Okay. I'm going to try to put my foot through that door. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's a stone door. It's not oh. wooden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put my foot through this. <laughs> My foot just goes straight through stone. At that point, I think everybody that's a villain, any enemy, be like, and fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Damn kids. They'd be like, this stone all you see is like, we open the door, and there's that one goblin shaking his boots. He's like, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm. But, uh, oh, such a good song. as you all just stare at the door, you you hear what sounds like just if something turned from flesh or turned from stone into flesh the soft crackle as a wolf-like man appears from behind the throne, stepping through it and setting on to the throne. So, hello there. <laughs> I will find that no, just hello. hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you. And you, friend. Thank you. DM. Yes. Have I seen this man before? You have. Yeah. Yeah. He's very familiar because you fought him in Syria. Like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I, I remember your arrow. face somewhere. I drop my uh, torch, draw my bow, and I knock an arrow and point it at him. You could. Well, we meet again. Indeed. I'm happy you all. Uh, did, you didn't really volunteer for this. I took you. Uh, you're sleeping. Right no now. shit. I just want to see how effective you might be in dangerous circumstances. Okay. I believe we showed you our effectiveness already. With the assistance of an asshole, a small well, troop of wood jumpers. Hey, there's power in allies. It is true. You didn't seem to be fighting us on your own either. Oh no. <laughs> oh, shots fired! But you see, I was trying to cause a little ruckus. Ruckus with the military. Just enough to break the spirits of those people in that Understand. city. Understand. It's not personal. It is what was only a job. Oh, oh yes. yes. I don't really care too much about the military myself. And I was just doing a job. If you're willing, if you pass this little test, we would like to hire you for a job. Yeah, Depends on what the job, job is. is. But, well, we'll find out if you survive. This is how we test all of our, hopefully, future associates. I have one question before we do this trial. Go on. Will innocence be killed? Define innocent. Those who have not tried to do any harm to us, specifically. No. Civilians. No. Even though then, I might seem a little evil, most people think that. I told my troops evil. not to harm civilians. Never I don't do. believe in good and evil. This is just two sides of the same coin. I can respect that. There is and there isn't. That's all there is. And there isn't. <laughs> Smart ass. Yes. Yeah. 
So, are we going to do these trials? <laughs> I can see this party going so far. It was just Roke and Navrot. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I like Day and I like Strut Greg. Players, by the way. Their, their characters are... God damn it. <laughs> okay, back into the game. What's it? Love you, love you, Day. Love you, Strat Greg. If you're watching this, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you're recording. <laughs> yeah, I always record. Well, not always, but no, try to. Now. I love, I love the players, but their characters are pissed off, Rogue. <laughs> but I'm willing so... to open up the door, and if things go a little awry. I will step in. I normally test three to four people at a time. It's just, uh, your allies were strangely unwilling. They're spirits, anyways. They're in mourning over a goat. A goat? A goat. He was very important to Strut, Greg. Don't downplay it. It was a goat. Navroth, you know why he did it died in combat. A respectable death. And then he's pissed at me because I skinned it. That's, anyway, you sorry. You skinned a man's goat. Food. Money. Trade. Too sure. I can buy into that. I'm not a good person. I'm not a bad person either. <laughs> I'm just... A person. I'm chaotic neutral. <laughs> Man, I'm chaotic neutral. Survival of the fittest, motherfuckers. Then I'm going to uh, let you all have fun now. As he snaps his fingers, as the door beside you, Rope, opens up, slowly pushes open. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the arrow back in the quiver and put my bow back in the quiver. And uh, pick up the torch and draw one of my syndicates. All right. And advance forward. I wish you all luck. As he slowly melds back into the stone. Ah, Malbus stone. Good spell. It's more or less kind of. But, uh... I played a druid before, man. <laughs> well, he's not a druid. I know. Oh. Uh, no other classes can use it. It's just a good spell. But pretty much as you all do what you want to do, this is your world now. Go at it however you like. Um, a rogue, uh, what's your AC now, bro? Uh, one sec. Nineteen. Nineteen, and you have a torch, yeah. 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 So uh, I'll drop, I will uh dry, drop the torch then, pull my bow, and keep my scimitar sheath. Um, Navroth, you're going first. I'm gonna Very well. I'm gonna send my uh L forward as well. Right, so I wanna thirty feet ahead. All right. So your L has dark vision, yeah. I believe so, yeah. 30 feet dark vision. I think. Owl. I have to I it would make sense. Uh, dark vision 120 feet. Oh. I'll so be yeah, in a post. Do you pretty I'll much just it. send your owl along the hallway till it sees something, or...? I send it like to each corner in front of me, and if it doesn't see anything around the corner, then I advance and send it to the next one. Also, has um, advantage on perception checks. Nice. Yeah. It has a hit point of one, but. It has flyby though, so it doesn't take uh, opportunity attacks. Yeah. Armor class of 11. Nice. I'm staying with you, Navrath. I'm right behind you. 
We want you to go through these hallways. I'm, I'm just gonna go up to here because I'm assuming we made it to here. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Until you these reach. These trials in. are tiring. <laughs> I'm about ready to give up. As you will open the door, the and I door. put my uh, bow over his shoulder, like ready to fire if something attacks at it. Ready to smack me in the face with the bowstring when you loose an arrow? No, 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 no. Basically, I'm. I, I have my bow at the ready, and um, I have the arrow poking over your shoulder so that if I need to fire. Forward. I see. Uh, right. I'm gonna check the door. That the gives door. me cover. <laughs> the door is unlocked. Can I check for traps? You can. Go ahead and roll a investigation. You have probably got a... You don't have a higher investigation, but that's a natural 20. There is no traps on this door. I'm like very going, confident that there's no traps. The two people with the lowest investigation are, <laughs> are right here <laughs> going through a dungeon. Yep. Actually, Stockrave might have lore. I don't know what his... I'm going to open the door. All right. As you open the door, the first thing you see is just a big thing of, like, banana pudding. As it... Oh. It looks like banana pudding. It doesn't right. uh, move like banana pudding because it moves as it turns right. to both of you. And Rook, you will have a readied action. I fired. Do and the quick thing, DM, it is a magic weapon. It is. Um, eleven piercing damage. It, it does. does the eleven. What happens when the arrow hits? Does it just go <laughs> right through it? More or less, it just <laughs> through the other side as the arrow slowly burns away into nothing. Oh. Uh. As mm. if it just passed through some acid. Fuck you, Dio. No, oh, it's time. a fucking it's, it's a jelly. It's it's banana pudding. Have you ever just shot an arrow through banana pudding? At least it's not a um what's the death cube ones? <laughs> yeah, a gelatinous Black cube. Gelatinous cube. It's probably um it's a cousin of it. It's a similar type of monster. I know what you're it's its, it's brother. It's its strange brother. As it, I need all of you to roll initiative. Initiative tracker, please. Yep. Nice. Oh damn. Oh damn. <laughs> it rolls pretty good, but then. It's, it has I have this, you know, I I need to find it because I know I have the skill and I'm looking for it right now. Um, <laughs> what is it that gives me um, the advantage on uh, initiative rolls? Oh, How it's it's your. Uh... It's like the level one thing you get. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm looking through it, and it's like because it's a lot of text. You know, uh, I I know you have it. I know you got it because I I play two I, I kept, strangers. Yeah, I kept forgetting to use it, so now I'm gonna use it. Fourteen. Did it roll initially? It rolled it once. Why didn't it roll with advantage? Oh, I guess I have to roll. Fourteen point sixteen. Why is it point sixteen? I have the Dex tiebreaker. No. I can help. Okay. Yeah. I, I I rolled it twice, so that way. Yep. I'll just have to click it twice every time I do initiative damage. Oh. Right. Because you can't. Surprisingly, it beats you. It rolled an eighteen minus two. Fuck you. But Navroth. Oh. Oh, wait, I can go to the settings and do initiative-style advantage. Cool. Uh, it is it. your turn. What do you do? Um, I'm 
going to throw a chromatic orb at it. That, that does hit. And what does chromatic orb do? Uh, it's 3d8 of some different damage types that I can choose. Uh, and I choose fire for obvious reasons. Yeah. It's 3d8 damage. So. Dovakin. Dovakin. Valaxin does Vadin. Plus my Crimson Mod. So, 17 total. Damn, son. That's 28. You've done 28 points of damage to it. As it goes. So, 5. 10. 15 feet of movement? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's Wait, generous. As 10. Real slow. Uh, as it just. Oh, wow. Reaches... Gelatinous Cube has 15. Yeah, no, this this boy's slow, but this guy can climb. Uh, it has no shape. How can it climb? Don't question it. It's sticky. Oh, fuck you. I know what it is. Well, great oozes can slime, too. Can, can slime, too. Yeah. Uh, as it reaches its gloopy hand up and it slaps Navroth. At least tries to. No. What's your AC now, bro? 19. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's a 10. As it just tries to slap you, and you just, like, step behind. And just one step. <laughs> it's like... Whew. Man, this thing is slow. As it looks up at you. And, Rook, it's your turn. Okay, um, you know what? I'm gonna do two things. Um, Hunter's Mark. You cast Hunter's Mark. I uh, hit it twice with my uh, Great Bow. One, two. Uh, so that it would be uh, 26. It's dead. Plus, oh. We're gonna do hunter spray as well. Just gonna <laughs> Rangers, it, if you're in the distance from them, you're fucked. As you just like slam into it, one shot, another shot, where the flames are burning away at it, it just slowly dissolves into this goop. And My arrows are uh, fucked, right? Oh yeah. This thing's made out of literally acid. I'm so. glad I made 60 arrows. I don't think I'm running out anytime soon. Let's just I'm gonna move it right there. And as you step through it, the acidity is still there, but it doesn't eat away your shoes. Good, I don't want my, uh, my boots. My leather boots. <laughs> no, my riding boots. Okay. Broken, it's broken in, it's soft weather, you know. Yeah. Keep me quiet. Um, I'm gonna push open this door. The door is unlocked. As it leads to another door. Navroth, help me look for traps. <laughs> I'm going to help him look for traps. Natural 20. Okay. It is... Not locked. It's not locked. Okay. Uh, well, it's not door. trapped. It is locked. Sorry. I'm terrible at English. It's locked. Investigate the room. We can melt it with the slime. If we move it somehow. Which what? Hmm. Mage hand. Just keep picking up tiny bits of slime and move it slowly across the room. You can do that. Okay. Slowly. And I mean slowly. Four days later. <laughs> For each of these D6s that I'm gonna roll, 
is a minute of waiting. Okay. After about four minutes of just handful place, handful place, you see as the the door handle just falls off. <laughs> I don't think we we're supposed to do it this way. You, you could. I was like, I was not expecting it, but <laughs> improv. If I got a chance to use my magic, I'll use it. I invested in this magic. Yeah. And the door is unlocked. Um, I'm going to try and gently push it open with my oh. stuff. All right. The first thing you see is unnerving. Because you've never seen one of these things before. A human, oh god. As it sits behind a fairly long desk, and what you can see, a small library with multiple desks, just a blank-faced blue, what you would suspect skin, white eye thing. Doppelganger, yay. You've never seen a doppelganger. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because doppelgangers are nasty. They're my yeah. favorite D&D &D monster. Why? Why? Because when they kill you, they take through all your memories and literally become you. Yeah. I wish I had that power. Or they'll just uh, implant a... Uh... They'll literally implant it within an, a pregnant woman, and that baby will be it. It's basically a parasite. Yeah. We'll become a changeling. Uh -huh. Changelings, they're pretty cool. They're just little weird fuck ups. <laughs> they're fuck ups. <laughs> they're strange. And then. No, you're thinking of changelings. Changelings are different than doppelgangers. Yeah, changelings are the spawn of a doppelganger. Yeah. It's weird bitches, but I like my doppelgangers. As he just sits there behind the desk reading a book, as he looks up at you, at all of you, just like. There's this awkward moment where I'm staring him in the eyes, he's staring me in the eyes. Yeah. I'm just um, like. Hi. Hello. And it's strange, um, it's in your head. He has no mouth to move. Um, we're just gonna pass through if that's okay. I, I don't mind. You're not gonna stab us in the back, right? No. It's, it's not my job. <laughs> my job is to look over the library. I'm stuck in a room inside check. You said that he's reading a book? Yeah, he's reading a book, yeah. Still making an inside check? He's telling the truth to what you know. What book is he reading? As you look over, and you can read it because it's in Draconic, uh, it's more or less a book on dragons. Just a few Ooh. different types. Uh, he's reading a portion on black dragons. Have I read that book before? You have not. It's strange. It's heavily detailed. Like, to where, how the wings are spaced. How literally to the inch in a uh, tail length or this world's version of an inch like he's just slowly reading on that you uh you said that this is a library he looks up yes can we uh take any books take a look i have some uh Fairly recently, actually, a small group of people have already came through. They, uh, took one of my books, but I think um, you, you can take... Can I cast Detect Magic 
and see if there's any magical books. All right. Searching through, you do see a, one book, which is strange. It has, it's not radiating book? magic, but it does give off a small hint. And that school of magic is? It is. I have to think on that. Illusion um, and abjuration. Interesting. What language is it in? From what you can, if you take it up and look at it, it the uh, covers blank. But as you take a peek at the text in the book, it is common for the first chapter, where it just details uh, a ritual, a rite that you can do. To gain some power, but it could kill you if you do it wrong. Uh, in the next few pages after that, along well, the entirety of the book is gone. There is no words. There is nothing. And that's okay. where the magic is, like on those pages. Uh, okay, I'll keep that. I'll place that down, like off to the side. Uh, what are the other magical? So there's oh, more than one? Yes, there is a smaller book of what you will suspect a spell book. Hmm. It's not the largest. It's like hand sized. It's like one of those older drawing books that you would yeah. probably buy at say Barnes and Noble. Sketchbook. Yeah, sketchbook. And uh something like that and to where you just open up and there's a few incantations. It's in a, a Elvish, but you can read it. Yeah. And the other book is the one that the uh, strange blue man, the man in the blue man group, is reading. Uh, um. Okay. I'm gonna put that. Um. I'm gonna put both those books in my bag. All right. While you're I'm doing going... that, the man looks over at you could you tell me the names of them or let me see them first so i can I hand them over mark them away and uh he looks at them and just writes down some stuff in a language that you've never seen before sylvan <laughs> sure no i speak sylvan <laughs> it's not sylvan come it... <laughs> yes Orcus. Nope. Gith. No. He's a gith, isn't he? Oh, he's a fucking gith. Yeah, sure. This is a gith. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He just writes down. He turns into a gith. Yeah, he turns into a gith. He could. But he's not. He's more comfortable well, he's... in his own skin. While he's recording these two other books, I'm going to say to him that a uh, book about dragons there seems pretty interesting it is. are there any copies of it or can I borrow that one perhaps uh, if you're willing I can uh, I can find another copy I think the the others have a copy on hand to my knowledge you're not using if you want to go hunt down that one where might that be oh Go east. He points towards the store. If you go that way and a little bit up, you'll come across a room that seems very dangerous, but it's not. Um. So it was this door over here. By this the way, door. about this book that starts and then goes blank. What's that about? <laughs> that book is. He, are you asking the blue man? Yeah. I am asking the blue man group. Uh, well, it will more or less, it's not a return, but we ended up taking it back. Uh, it's a book on a right, that, uh, a strange concoction of different herbs, uh, some poisonous plants. Uh, if you take it, uh, it, to our knowledge, grants you power uh, of just a strange sort. And uh, from that point on, uh, we've been able to break the book a little bit to where 
after that point, you'll have to take another ritual to gain a different sort of power after. Um, what type of power does it provide? Uh, more or less, you change your body. You change your gen your own genetics for power, is what we've picked up. Oh, interesting. And this other book, the other book I picked up. Oh, that that's uh, well, one of the a, a wizard a while ago kind of got killed, so we took his spell book, and now it's here. Okay. Um, I hand the spell book to Nevra, who's a spell user. I'm not a wizard, but sure. Um. Okay then. Uh, can I go through this door? What's through this door? Uh, that door. Uh, as you open it, uh, <laughs> leads to uh, the astral plane. You're fucked. <laughs> it just pretty much leads to another hallway. Uh, it's a doorway to Dees. Um. Where should we go now? Well, I'm interested in hunting down that book that he was talking about. Um. Okay. Um. I'm gonna ask uh, the blue mate. Uh, is there any books on um. Uh, potion making that you know? Of? That would be in the other room I spoke of. Okay, Here, let uh, me. And he pulls out a piece of paper and just sketches out a small map. I was like, alright, if y'all zoom out, you should be able to see what I ping. And he pings in this general area. Where it points yeah. out, like. Up here? Like, in that area is more or less, like, there is where you would need to go. Okay. Um, hmm, cool. That'd That'd be been good very helpful. Um, uh, we didn't get your name. Oh. Let me think for a second. Oh gosh. I don't really have a name. Rick. I'm gonna call you... Rick, I like What's... Rick. Rick? Rick. Where's Morty? <laughs> Who's Morty? Where's Morty? <laughs> Who's Morty? I, I don't actually say that, DM. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, well, no one breaks um, Are there um, any other books about dragons in the library? Uh, yeah, are, do you ask or do you search? I search. Roll a investigation check. Is there anything interesting, any book that seemed to catch my eye while I go through this entire library as well? Uh, roll investigation. 15. Um, Navroth, you find some that don't really detail dragons. It tells of them and what they are capable of, but they're names that you've seen before, just in different languages. And, uh, Rook, mm -hmm. you find some books that are interesting yet strange. Uh, some in languages that you've never seen before, or some languages that you have seen before, just never learnt. And, uh, just Anything that catches my eye that may be important or useful? Uh, you do find a book on, well, religions, but that isn't... Nice hint, DM. Nice hint. <laughs> <laughs> There's a book on religions that aren't really looked up upon. Yeah, I skip over that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about religion. Yeah, I know. Religion is for nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Says the sorcerer. <laughs> okay. I just really like dragons, okay? I'm looking uh... for a dragon book. Okay, where should we go now, bro? This is the way the nice man... Or woman, I don't know. I know, but we could be missing out on some sweet loot. Mm. 
We could go here and then double back. Sounds like a plan. Alright. I open the door. Oh, it's more or less an open portcullis. Uh, oh. Just more or less an empty room. Uh, Nothing in here? No hallway? Oh, there it is. Which direction? Up. He said to head up. I don't know okay. what that means, but I presume left. <laughs> DM, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to deal with us going down every hallway, going doubling back, going through that hallway. I don't mind. Explore the shit. This is a huge map, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. As you reach to grab the door and you open the door, uh, well, something happens. Um, Fuck, we didn't check for traps. Yep. Um. <laughs> we got we got uh, custom to safety. So when the DM says that, it's the fuck us over. The librarian said it was safe. No, he didn't. <laughs> he never <laughs> said it was safe. He just said it was he over it there. Would appear dangerous. Oh no, he said the be. room that you are supposed to find would appear dangerous. <laughs> he never said it was safe. Uh, make a uh, constitution saving throw. Never. Oh. Ooh. Sucks, man. Sucks. Big goof. And, um, Navroth is now a sheep. You take and nine it's... points of poison damage as you touch the door handle and you feel the burn and the numbness of just a, a prick. Uh, as if a needle was just jabbed into your hand. And as you oh, pull my out, you feel a poison into your veins. As you Is just he take poison? The, no, he just takes the nine points of poison damage. Oh, surely uh, there's no wither traps here. Oh, I attempt to open the door again. Hey, DM. Are you dodging the needle? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, DM. Yeah. Um... For like the next minute while he's doing that, uh, I want to use primeval awareness to see if there's um any fiends or uh, humanoids. All right, fiends with it within this entire dungeon because within the it's a five mile radius, I believe. You pick up fiends, but not humanoids. Oh, lovely! I get uh, to kick some ass. There's fiends, mm. not everywhere. But in a lot of places. DM, day's here. <laughs> the changing in his day. Is day here? Oh. She might say that she can't make it. We'll see. Okay, um. And you all can just explore this dungeon all by yourselves. That oh. sounds like death. Nah, uh, I toned it down uh, a little bit. Oh, you toned it down. A little bit. It was meant for four people, so. <laughs> well, actually, I have to ask this. Was that library always a safe zone? <laughs> it wasn't really a safe zone. It's more or less, oh, do you want to challenge that doppelganger? Uh, if no, no. congrats. <laughs> you survived. <laughs> What's the CR? What's the CR of a doppelganger? Oh, Just gonna gosh. Check. It's uh, not high. Thirty. Uh, CR three. Oh, we could take it. Yeah, but also he's not just a doppelganger. He's a wizard, Harry. He's a wizard, Harry. Uh, You're not wrong. Uh, oh, they have read thoughts. Jesus. Just, yeah, let's not fuck with the thing that doesn't want to fight us. Yeah, he was pretty chill. He was like, yeah, hey, no, he's a pretty nice. chill, man. I like Rick. Yeah, Rick's a cool guy. He doesn't really have he's just like name off the top of my head. Uh, uh, Rick. Rick's sure. pretty chill. I've heard that name Wait, before. Wait, oh, come on. DM, I'm going to hate you if this just goes this one, intersects with this one, and then goes upwards. I don't know what you're talking about. 
he says with a shit eating grin on his face. <laughs> well, as you walk through, uh, checking for traps. Uh, I'm sending my familiar forward. You do so, Check and traps. you find out. Well, I fucking suck it. <laughs> it was literally <laughs> just a fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. you walk in through the other door and you see just the doppelganger just look back up at all of you. It's like, uh, hello. Hello. Uh, you said to go up, yes? I, I said to go, not really up, in that general direction. Left and up uh, a little bit. Map uh, wise. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go this way now. Have fun. <laughs> I I should, this uh, one for traps. Uh, do I? Uh, I don't want to use cure wounds yet. <laughs> you check for okay. traps. Um. Yes. Yes. All right. Make a uh. I help him. Investigation check. I help him. Okay. I make the help action. Hmm. God, we suck at fire. We're just gonna run into every trap. Wait, know? why? Why did you roll that investigation? Uh... I was helping him. You can't roll then say you're gonna help. He no, already no, said I... he's gonna help. No, 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 no. That investigation on the top was to investigate traps in the hallway. Oh, okay. So you Remember, just and then I rolled an eight. And I was like, why? Why do I even try anymore? Oh. No. Uh, you do find that there is a trap. Wow. What is it? Uh, you... It's... What you would think... Once you open the door... Just a large amount of ground underneath you will... Fall. And will... Hit you. As you uh, fall through the floor. Oh... Uh. That doesn't sound nice. Okay, I go around. Um, we should go this way. Well, I could mage hand it from back in the hallway. Um, let's mage hand it from over here. Okay. I will mage attempt hand. to mage hand it. Alright, as you do that, the door is locked. Oh, Boom. fuck you. I turn to the uh, doppelganger. Hey, do you have a key for this door over here? No, I don't leave this room, so... Okay, okay uh, next path. <laughs> Check this one for traps. I it, help it, him. It is a portcullis, a wooden portcullis, just down. Uh, you're, you're able to pretty much lift it up. Um, make a strength check with advantage, either one of you. I'll lift it. Yes. I have... I'm helping yeah. him with it, so... No, you don't need to help me. Powerful build. Hmm. Touche. Roll the strength Touché. check, though. Just in case. You roll a natural one and pull your back. It's made of lead. <laughs> it's made of lead, yeah. 13 times 2, basically, is what you do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're able to just, like, 26. <laughs> I believe I do it. Yeah, you're able to lift open. And, uh... Is there anything to prop it open with? Well, once you lift it up high enough, you hear a click. As, like, uh, As we explore a dungeon where it's only two people, so there's not a lot of talking. Yep. I send my familiar forward again. Alright. It's gonna be a rude awakening for your familiar. Uh, oh no. Get familiar. Give me five hours, people. <laughs> it only takes me ten minutes to make the familiar, but I need the other four hours and fifty minutes to grieve. <laughs> 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 That's fucking amazing. <laughs> As your familiar flies through, would it fly through the portcullis? Or this is just an open archway. Sorry. Open it would probably fly to about here. 
And then... Should I switch through the archway, then? Let's continue. Let's go to here. And keep going. Until it got to there and looked through there. So do we see anything in there? No, you don't see anything in there. I make a perception check. Uh, can I make my familiar do the perception check? Can I make a? I'm gonna make a perception check myself. Yes, sure. What the fuck? I am rolling shit tonight, DM. No, uh, give me a sec. So it's like, look at the rolls I've done so far, DM. Plus three. Yeah, you haven't rolled that well. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. I think the best I've done is with my great bow, which is always in the twenties. Everything else has been shit. So your your little owl, your, your bird friend, hears just this. Just a wet crunch and a tear. Sounds like something is eating very messily. Okay, uh, where then. does he hear it from? Just down in this room? In, in this area. Just above where you're able to see. Um, if I lie I down the up. room, can you look up there? Oh, wait, what'd you say? If I lie, like, on the ground, am I able to see up there? Like, with my head right at the edge of the doorway, can I see up? You can just barely see a leg uh dm yes. just something i remember from primeval awareness um how many fiends do it do i know and where is their general direction are you able to yep east. additionally you can defend yourself east south Directly in front of me. <laughs> Not directly in front of you, no. There's no fiend in there. Uh, and what are the numbers? Uh, are you able to discern the, the exact number? The, these feature reveals which of your favorite enemies are present, their numbers, and the creature's general direction and distance in miles from you. Okay. Oh, Lord. Give me a minute. I'm gonna have to count some bitches. <laughs> Primeval awareness for the win. <laughs> um, you know? Yeah. There's a total of 25 pit fiends. Oh! In the next room. Cool. I don't know what the fuck just happened. But I don't really care. I may get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. See, it's a hell of a test, <laughs> you see. <laughs> <laughs> they just throw some major uh, demons at me. The spider himself comes to kick your ass. <laughs> Asmodeus. Asmodeus just comes in, kicks your ass, leaves. <laughs> Asmodeus is a devil, though, isn't he? Yes, but he's still considered a fiend. Ah. Yeah, some devils are fiends, some devils are not. That's the confusing thing. You know? I thought it was like all devils and demons are fiends, and there's some things that are neither that are still fiends. So, 11 to 12 fiends. Ah, that's not bad. And they're everywhere. They're just spread out. Cool. Um, I would like to knock an arrow and then poke my head through the door. All right. Okay. Readying to shoot on any enemies, I see. See, it heard you, so it's gonna get its attack first. Uh, oh, fuck you. Because it wasn't Stop. there. It moved up. And I rolled <gasps> a 20 on it still. <laughs> Navroth is lying face down on the ground. And I rolled a what on my perception? 10? <laughs> yeah. It's just God, like the dice are hating me tonight. It just slides in. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, my name's Greg, and fuck you. Hi, I'm just gonna. You have to you. talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, what's that? What's that fucking um? I saw this uh, YouTube video, and it was like a shark, and he's like, "Hi, how you doing? Um, 
I'm gonna eat you now. You know, you know the... uh, yeah. how it should have ended. One of those. Oh Jones. yeah, yeah, that's it. He's cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat you. So Let's eat you right up. What's your AC, Rock? Uh, sixteen. He hits you. I need you to make a uh, Constitution saving throw. Uh huh. Mm. I hate you for sending these things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the dice hate me tonight, man. You're mm. paralyzed. If this, I know, and if this was physical dice, I'd be throwing this dice away and go and grab another one. You know? Mm. Three, four, five. Yay! Paralyzation! So you take seven points of slashing damage. As Navroth, you see as this creature, a, a claw, more or less, comes out of nowhere, stabs Rook in the gut, and as Rook falls over, just paralyzed in maybe fear, as this, a gray, you might think fear. Or you might just think poison as this blue skinned, blue eyed, gnarled teeth creature. Can I, know what it is? Can uh, I see if I know what it is. Yeah, roll, roll nature or history. Or nature religion. Is. Religion would work, technically. Natural Ooh. 20. Tell me all its weaknesses, it its is, vulnerabilities. <laughs> it is a ghoul. I know, and uh, it's weaknesses and shit, because I rolled a natural fucking 20. None. Just don't use poison against it. It's weak to die. It's weak to blades. <laughs> okay, um, can I get its wisdom? <laughs> its wisdom is not good. Here, I'm just going to look up ghoul. No, y you don't know everything <laughs> about this creature. You know how they're made. They're in They're made by necromantic magic. As uh, as he uh, just sitting over here like, DM, natural twenty, just give me the stab block, please. It's more or less gonna stab Rook, walk over to Navaroth, and we're gonna roll initiative, cause yeah, paralyzed mm -hmm. for how long? Uh, one minute, mm -hmm. and at the end of each of your turns, you get to make a save. Will I roll initiative from my familiar as well? Uh, yes. Uh, it rolled it twice. Okay, cool. And it chose the highest. I still rolled um, shit, but okay. Plus one. Ooh. So your bird's God. gonna go last. Hey DM, yes. I'm gonna exit out of roll twenty in my way of clearing the dice because I can't throw dice into j dice jail. <laughs> All right. You you can't judge me. <laughs> I won't judge you. I'm su I'm one of those superstitious D and D players who like my D my dice are filled. Okay, I got to um. Yo. Hey. Uh, so, Navroth. I'm getting, my, I'm getting my shit kicked in right now. Navroth, quickly as it so steps in front of you, then? and you're like, oh shit! It gets to take take a quick stab at you before you go. Where's the dwarf? Somewhere just... over the rainbow. Navroth and Rook, we woke up in like a weird uh, trial thing set up by the werewolf man. Navroth. All of a sudden, day just drops out of the sky. Not yet. I, I have a thing for day. Uh, I was just asleep this whole time and I don't know what's happening. Like someone drugged me or something. Technically, we're all asleep. Yeah. This is a dream trial. Navroth. What's your AC? What? It's 15, right? 16? Mm, 19. Fuck damn. High as I see. It tries to go for you and it just slides against your scales. Just like. When you're wielding two shields, no weapons, and just magic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a dragon sorcerer, so I'll get extra AC. Then on top of that. And, uh, alright. It, uh. It's your turn. Navro. 
Okay. Uh, I'm going to spit hot fire. I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Dragon's Breath on my familiar. And An owl that breathes fire. That's terrifying. Yep. My what level are, are you casting it at? Just second level. And I'm going to cast... Now you can only cast cantrips. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to cast Frostbite on the dude right in front of me. Alright. Yeah, that hits. And to my knowledge, Frostbite has special effects to the undead, yeah? Uh, I think it just has special effects to everyone. It gives them disadvantage on the next weapon attack roll. Before the end of its next turn. Okay. That is good to know. Deals 9 damage and is your, uh... Your owl breathing fire? Oh wait, no, it has it has its turn. But look. yeah, it's gonna breathe fire and then ro and fly rather. It okay. will range. All right, Rook. You need to make a Constitution save. <laughs> uh. Um. Hold up, I'm gonna go burn my uh, computer down, and I'll be back. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna go actually smoke, take a smoke break, though. Just, you know. Alright. So, uh, if I'm away from keyboard, I'll tell you. And that huh. just means, uh, roll my con for me. Yeah. I'm stuck here for the next ten rounds, so... Well, nine right. now, as the yeah. owl, uh, goes... Uh, a minute is excellent. ten rounds. So. Yeah. And with the way I'm rolling, DM, I'm not getting back anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. But uh, and also Rook is under the ghoul. He's there. He's not there. It's just more or less ghoul simplicity. Could I have it so that the owl like breathes up at the ghoul's face and then flies away? If he does, he will hit you instead. Do you want to hit Rook or yourself? I'm resistant to fire, so I'd rather hit me. Alright. Make a deck save then. Okay, no. I just gotta um, ask what the heck is happening. Your friends are being attacked by a dream ghoul. We all fell asleep. The and... What exactly? What kind no. of mushrooms were they smoking while I was gone? You don't smoke mushrooms. <laughs> you inject them, them dummy. <laughs> you inject the mushrooms. Uh, we were uh, kidnapped in our dreams by that wolf guy we fought. Yeah, he's putting us through trials to see if we would be good uh, to like work for him. Why would we work for a guy who's trying to dream murder us? He's not trying to murder you, he just wants to test you to see if you're good enough. And what happens if we die in the dream? Well... You die in real life, dude. You're not wrong. But he'll see, try to make sure you're... Us. But he's you don't know... Dream murder us. Why would we work for a guy who's trying to kill us in our He school? said if it got real bad, he'd intervene. Yeah, and also you don't know... You don't know that he... Uh, that he... That this, this will kill you. This is just this is just me talking about what I'm hearing right now. Day has absolutely no Yeah. Day is currently Why don't you happily serve him? Day is currently in a stone cold room. With stone cold Steve Austin. Just no. posters everywhere. <laughs> it's just everywhere. You don't know why. No. Yeah. Dreams look stone cold Steve Austin. Like body. There before. Um I know what that's like. Yeah. Uh, and 15 points of damage. As, yeah, you, you kill this thing. Uh, the flame engulfs this creature as it lets out a screech from hell. Uh, as it falls to the ground, burning. 
and I'm just gonna make sure that's dead and then tend to Rook. Yeah, after a while Rook finally just unfreezes. Just like <gasps> fucking rules. Rook.exe has stopped working. Well, he restarted. Don't worry. We're all good. <laughs> I rebooted. All you hear is the windows opening out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> or no, it's the Xbox. <laughs> no, it's PS2. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. It's, no, no, no. It's the GameCube. But uh, Navroth, as you actually walk in here and Rook is finally waking up, you hear. By the way, you're gonna have to. I'm away from people again. Yeah. Uh, you hear just. What would Day do if she found herself locked in a room all by herself? She'd pull out her lyre, and you just hear echoing through the halls. It's my old friend. <laughs> Fucking hell. And then. Talk with you again. And then. As the copyright no, hits me, because I am recording this. The A copyright. <laughs> no. Silence. Actually, I think I copyright won't even. Like Videos getting like taken down. Then she just starts screaming like, Oh, come on! My song didn't, like, like bring anyone here to save me! Like, that always works! Opens the door, there's this rogue staring at her. Well, no, it's a it's a closed Yay! iron portcullis. Yay! Oh. <laughs> I just look at her. Stop whining. Not whining. Who's whining? And she just kind of gives you this really innocent look. You're very good, Day. You're talented. You. No. How do we get you out? Hmm. Does there seem to be any immediate way to open this? Kind no. Of walks over, and before you can do anything, she just kind of latches onto you with a hug. Well, she can't because there's a put course. Is blocking the way. You have a what now? A portcullis. A porthole. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of bears. Well, scrap that plan. Never sticks his arms, sticks one of his arms through the bears if you can, to give her a high five. <laughs> you could do that. Navroth, the most patient and kind member of our party. Everybody else is a dick. <laughs> He's old. I don't uh, care anymore. I just give the arm a hug. I give the arm a hug like I'm trying to give him a hug, but I can't, so I just hug the only thing that gets through. I pat her on the back. Okay, I stick my hand after he's done. And then I it smack her off. across the face. Bite him. <laughs> I pull my arm back before she can. Make make a dex save and make a. Can you roll my dex, DM? Yeah, Dave, make an make an make an attack. Just roll your dex. Uh, see if you can actually get him. Oh, I roll great whenever I'm you. Wait, oh I, fuck you! I rolled Dave. Twenty-two. I think it's the same number though. Nah, twenty-three technically. Yeah, you're able to just dexterly like, ugh, before the hand gets nipped. And I just give him a look and I say, I sauce in everything I cook for me from now on because I've decided I'm the designated cook for this party and you are not going to get in anything good to eat for a month, mister. Uh, just so to be you. Now I grab you cook. get the best stuff and I give him another arm hug. Sweet. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Do you want to open this portcullis? Sure. All right. Uh, so completely out of character, Rook. Yeah. You don't normally. I thought you kind of like. I thought Rook. I thought Rook kind of liked Day. 
he does. It's just you're being. He likes you, but he also gets annoyed by you sometimes. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, that's point. Is that a thirty? <laughs> yeah. See, I roll great. Uh, when you. Also, is the uh, they're gonna come on? Uh, probably not. He's, I he talked to me earlier to where he will not be able to. Hey, after the ga game tonight, guys, do you guys want to play some cards against humanity? Mm -hmm. I will. Nah, not me. I got stuff I need to do. Yep. How about you two? I have to work on a few other things, so I will not be able to. Damn. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So do we get it open? Yes. Uh, fairly easily, just pull, <laughs> lift, and just it slides open, clicks, and day is free. Okay. Once day is free, I walk up and give her a hug. I give him a hug too. And then I pull back, and then I slap him. I deserve that. You deserve more than that, but I'm nice. And I give him another hug. Uh, so, I presume we would just, like, catch day up on what has happened thus far. Yeah. So Where we woke up. With the so, I just kind of look at them, I sit on the <laughs> ground, and I go, Where in the nine... Like, this is like really weird, and I think the walls are moving, but I'm not sure. So, what? Some sort of weird dream place, I think. Maybe. Rogue Maybe. just starts walking this way while there's a giant day over here for some reason. I don't know. Delish, I suppose. You have control <laughs> over the day that I placed. This place that we're in certainly feels real, but I have reason to believe that it's probably some sort of dream still. Why are we in a dream that's trying to murder us? Uh, the werewolf man wanted to test us to see if we would be good business partners. He has a job. Is she just trying to fix, kill us? And she just tilts mm. her head and she just kind of looks slightly confused. Not judging, just slightly confused. Just because someone tries to kill you doesn't mean they wouldn't be a good business partner. Business is business. Stockrig exactly tried to kill you. Stockrig tried to kill you before. We still work with him. That's because I'm an asshole. I deserved it. Maybe the werewolf yeah. thought you were an asshole. At least she admits it. Check all oh, the corners. I knew that all along. And I just kind of stick my tongue out at both of them. Mm. Navrat sticks his tongue out. Back. And tells his elf to do the same. Um, the owl does it. Bright, gleaming look. Like he just did the most awesome thing in eternity. I'm guessing Day's with us as we're walking through and yes. talking. I'm just trying to figure out the mechanics of this. Oh, once you have the move select option selected, uh, you can drag your character wherever you want them to be. These are doors, by the way, Day. I decides to actually go to an opposite hall than where they're going. All right. <laughs> so uh, good we knowing found you guys. Very many traps in this place. Uh, and do you open that door, Day? Silence means yes. Yeah, I said yes. Oh boy. Ooh. All right. <laughs> So I start making my way back over here. Um, when she opens the door. Uh, Navroth, I think we're about here when she starts opening the door. Alright. Sure. Uh, what's your AC day? Just random question, because like, it's not important, but... Just one more thing. Just roll Two me a nature check real quick. <laughs> Have you seen that post DM where it's like, just ask your players to make random rolls just to terrify them. Oh yeah. And confuse them. They, what's your oh, uh, AC? Pro randomly. That's my AC? Yeah. Uh, your AC should be at the top of your character sheet. Yeah. Uh, beside where it says initiative, above where's, your hit points. Where's, what's, your, what's your armor class? 
Oh, my armor class? 15. Yeah. Mm. It does hit. Okay. Uh, as you open the door, and you see pretty much nothing in the room, but you hear this and then the sliding of a blade as you just look up in time to see a a blade sliding through where the door opened and hitting you because it hit your AC. Barity, check really quickly in order to yank my arm back. Oh, don't worry. You won't lose an arm. It, it, you'll take damage. Oh, but... yeah, you will take damage. It'll stop once it digs into your arm. You won't lose your arm, just your head. Hey, DM, do you do... uh? Injuries like that at all? Uh, there. If things do happen, like a massive amounts of damage, let's say if a hit would knock your a your HP down from full to zero, I will say something will happen because it makes sense. Yeah, the way the way I do it is that way. Or uh, if you take like a th uh, half your health during a boss battle, you know. Mm, and yeah. only with bosses. I only do the half health thing with bosses. Yeah. And I mean, then it's I roll on mostly only bosses that be able to do half your health and one hit anyway. Um, should I do my reaction now? Yeah, you uh, you take thirteen points of slashing damage as a guillotine like <sighs> blade. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do. You're in a dungeon. Let me tell you about dungeons and dungeons and dragons. They're death traps. Run to kill you. I, I have, He's an idiot. I have something here. I should totally do that. I knew it was a bad idea, but it's something they would do, so I did it. Um, I let me tell you something about Dungeons and Dragons. Don't playing, you know? Playing your you character. Never split the party. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I think I made 13 points of damage from my current hit points or something? Uh, not from, uh, here. Yeah, from your current hit points, yeah. Okay. And also, you should be at max health, so you 55 minus 13. I'm just gonna leave this here, DM. Two, there. X, it's got that. And can I do my reaction now? Uh, what would your reaction be? Holy fucking <clears throat> fuck! You will hear this as it screamed throughout the. Uh... Okay, uh, Rook will advance, uh, run that way with his bow and uh, an, ar an arrow knocked, ready to fire. Run towards it, the sound. You will come across a uh, day with she's a. She's lying on the floor, her arms just. And she's just kind of clenching her arm and she's rocking back and forth, going, This hurts, this hurts, this is hurt. I am very, very hurt. And there's a guillotine blade stuck in her arm, more or less. Okay, um, I. Roke will go. Uh, and move her arm out of the way to see the blade. It's. Thankfully, very clean. It. Uh, can I roll medicine? I am yeah. a healer. It's just a nice deep cut. Uh, so that's an advantage because of practiced healer. Mm-hmm. No matter what, it's seventeen. Uh, yeah, you're able to pull out the blade, just like. And it hurts. Um, okay. And just as it's... Once you pull it out, the blade slowly works its way back up. Uh, okay. Uh, um, I also take I take some bandages out of my healer's kit. And start wrapping the wound. All and right. apply a, bo and a uh, bomb like a healing bomb on top of it before I wrap it up carefully like both of you notice I do this like with precision like I've done this hundreds of times thousands of times good work um, just still whimpering clenching her arm that should be feel that should heal up pretty good uh, I put some disinfectant balm on there shouldn't 
the wound shouldn't fester. We need to be very vigilant in this place. There's traps. Does, does a healer's place. kit provide healing at all? Uh, it... I think so. I think. Oh uh, no, it stabilizes. Okay. Like it needs uh, to yeah. Then it's just roleplay. <laughs> You could mix it with a cure wounds or something. Say that that was part of it. Yeah. Um, but I'm not going to use my cure wounds until we're seriously like, we need healing. Hmm. I need healing. I need healing. I need healing. I have two healing. Because right now I only have four spell slots left. You all. So the. No, no. I have five spell slots. I know. Uh, I suppose Navroth doesn't know what a doppelganger is. There was a weird blue man in a library earlier who told us to head uh, northeast. Apart from that, we don't really have any idea where we're going. Good thing is, is uh, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna You're jinx going us. To die. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I was. I'm not gonna jinx us. We're not dead yet. <laughs> At least yeah. you didn't lose your arm. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't lose your arm. Loses her head. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Later on. <laughs> Upside. I didn't lose your um, arm. I'm going to Iron check a bitch. for traps. Well, there are traps around the doorway. Not now. It seems once the door closes again. The trap will start again. It will lock in and be able to be well, set. Or the door will slowly close by itself given time. Uh, Is there a way to prop the door open? Yeah. Why doesn't my health change when I uh, when I change my character sheet's health? Uh, I don't know. Let me take a look. Take a look. In a book. <laughs> reading Rainbow. Ah, reading Rainbow. I do not know. Who needs okay. help? Also, Tampa um, Monkey is a little wonky right now. That okay. might be it. Might be have to do with the hacking of the system and everything. That too. But that was more or less for accounts than anything else. True. They wanted them accounts. Um, um, so which way should we go? They just kind of um, looks at the room and she just glowers at the door that just kind of hit her and she goes, bad door, bad. I'm going to walk through and make my way over here. Yeah, me too. As you get to the door, you can feel, do you, what do you do first? Inspect for traps. Okay. Yeah. Roll, roll oh, investigation. Jay just kind of peers around the door, but doesn't actually go in. Like, I am not searching about this. This seems like a bad idea. This thing has already attacked my arm. Uh, um, the, the door do does not send. Stay. Uh, so investigation, no damage. Okay, cool. No, Me and Navroth have shit investigation. Mm. Navroth sends his uh, bird back to play with Day until she comes along. The door is slowly closing. Unless Day someone did. Jump back because she doesn't really know what's happening. Oh, Never, it's gonna go back, and I'm going to try and see if I can like jam it to like keep it open with my quarter staff. You could do that. With your quarter staff, is it's easy. All right. And with um... that investigation, the only thing you find out that the door is stuck. Okay, uh, can I try to... I'm going to put my shoulder against it and try to push it open. Strength. Uh, powerful build, motherfucker. <laughs> I can roll shit and I still open it. Which I can... rolled shit. Mm. Fucking hell. Yeah, you rolled shit. <laughs> shit indeed. Powerful build? You just yeah. barely... Because it was a DC-10, you lucky bastard. You slam the door as the door just barely gives, like... 
as a uh, uh, my back and my back uh, oh well, i am older than all of you but you're still in oh, your prime oh i am still in my prime now broth is not yeah no Navroth is an old, old man. What's your strength mod, Navroth? Uh, plus one. Mm. He's a strong Damn. old man. I've been doing my fucking weights. <laughs> I'm more dex than it, and wisdom than anything else. I can still bitch slap a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I, give me the baby powder, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Uh... So, they we're going to have to go through this door, unless you want to go through the other door down there, but that probably also has a trap on it. I'm just sitting here holding the door open just in case this one starts to close. Peers through, and then she kind of just jumps through the door like she's afraid it's going to, like, guillotine her again. Alright. Guillotine. It's a guillotine. Well... That's how I pronounce it. So, it it's not pronounced tree bucket, like trebuchet. I thought it was always tree bucket. No, it's um, trebuchet. I know. It's like you can catapult his cat, a poot. Catapult. <laughs> catapult. That sounds like so fucking funny. <laughs> I heard someone call the catapult. She's still clutching her arm and going, ow, 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 ow. So I have no idea where we're going. We're just going somewhere. We're getting some books. Ah, uh, that, that might be the other way, though. Well, he said, up here. And I just kind of hold on, and I just kind of grab Negros' hand, and I just kind of hold on to it, and I'm just like, Hi. Hey. I lost it in, so I'm just going to hold this. Okay. I perch my familiar on your shoulder. Uh, can I roll perception to make, uh, keep it while of, we're moving through this? Kind of go, oh my gosh, it's a little bird. Yeah, go on. I just kind of hold it, and I'm like, uh, you got to make one, please. To see if I hear any like I can't monsters really or anything. Teach it. Uh, no, it's just sort of something I can do. I'm gonna walk through here. Oh. As you walk through there, you die instantly. Fucking hell! Oh uh, no! <laughs> Fear uh, of death. As oh, you walk peace. through, you see two statues, emotionless, as they just sit there. Okay, DM. Yes. Primeval awareness. They are neither fiend or humanoid. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm... pull uh, pull a scimitar, uh, and then I'm gonna investigate this bitch. They're just statues. Sure. Explosive statues. Sure. I'm just gonna slowly back out of that room. <laughs> but you um, did see a... He kind of goes up to Rook and go... What's wrong? Something like that. Yeah, what you see? Um, some really creepy statues. Day immediately rips out her flute and starts playing Detect Magic. There you go. Thank you. I don't want to waste spell slots, DM. <laughs> uh... You would have to walk inside the room to detect it, because everything is um, made out of stone here. Couldn't research the the destination at all with the remember to respect the dungeon. Mm-hmm. Uh, but DM, while we're moving through this area, I'm sure. Mind that, that I'm not doing that because that seems like I'm not doing that yet. Oh, but Day just kind of lets go of Nagros' hand and just kind of sneaks up to the doorway, and then she casts detect magic. There you go. But it lasts for ten minutes as well. As you cast it, you can tell uh, these two statues that are not moving are magic. Holy shoot! And she runs back to Nagra. But you don't know I, what I type of magic. magic. They are just... Statues, magic statues, evil, evil magic statues. You don't know that they're evil. How do you know they're evil? 
Because we're in a dungeon! It's not a oh, dungeon. We, did we check the body of that ghoul? No. Nope. Yeah, we're gonna be heading back through this entire thing That's to go it, back down different yeah, paths. You, um, you two deal with that. I'll go, uh, loot the, um, body or something. Yeah, uh, <laughs> And she just kind of bolts. Reads respect the dungeon. Says stay together. <laughs> Why she just using an excuse to hide right here? I follow her. You just kind of find her near knees up, and she's going, "Why um, is it like an evil magic labyrinth? I've had enough of evil magic labyrinths." Day, you hear in your head, it's not that evil. It's more or less. A, it's rude, not evil. As said, a test. But you don't know that. It, it's a test. Um, like, damn. You look up with your head, on her head is like, Now there's an evil person in my head! I'm not evil. Ah! I am very much neutral. I do not <laughs> care what happens. Here's the funny thing. <laughs> uh, that explore thoroughly and cautiously. <laughs> Didn't we say that we're gonna go back and just explore every room in this dungeon, Dan? <laughs> we could. Mm, yeah. That's what we're gonna be doing. Then you always do that. Take everything that's not nailed down. Yep. Gonna be taking these statues. Um, I'm gonna poke my head in and look at the statues. You poke your head in, the statues don't move. They're just setting there. I close Ominously. my eyes while looking at the statue, and then I open it. Did it move? Is it no. a weeping angel? <laughs> it did not move, and it is not a weeping angel. Because it, it's Can a gargoyle. I, I poke it with a stick. How heavy does it look? It looks fucking heavy. It's made out of pure stone. Can I poke it mm. with a st my ja uh, with a javelin? You poke it with a javelin, and nothing happens. Uh, can I investigate the fuck out of this? Could yeah, I carry ahead. one in a bag of holding? It no probably weighs more than five hundred pounds. Also, probably couldn't fit it through the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Investigation. I it, roll fucking shit. Like you've seen these things before, the style of them. They're gargoyles. Uh, some churches uh, do add them to them. Just more or less an ominous figure. And some not Lord so. Yeah, and some ominous mages like to put them around. Just more or less to spook locals to stay away. I want one of their heads. No. Why not? No, I said that other character. Oh. Why not? We, we what? broke the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Your perception score is so off the charts. All you hear is voices. <laughs> What's the oh, dungeon this pack? That reminds there a... me of a time where I okay. rolled a uh, I rolled a perception of negative perception. I rolled negative perception because I didn't have good wisdom. And uh, the DM's like, so you sit there for a while, and, and you stop breathing, and and all of a sudden it feels like you're sitting, you're there's a group of people sitting around a magical screen talking to each other, and then you flash back into your body. <laughs> That's what the DM did. Okay. So Navarat is going to turn to Rogue, and he's going to say, can you help me remove the head off of one of these statues? I take my scimitar and try to chop off a head, Dan. All well, right. it's going to blunt it, but okay. I have uh, two. Is the scimitar positive. magical? No. Uh, roll a hit. I was gonna say use like a piton or a hammer. It hits. Can I roll for damage? Yes. Five slashing. All right. You deal five points of damage to it. Nothing happens. It's like you just hit stone. No, really. How fucked up is the blade? It's it it's dinged. It doesn't look good. Cause you just Day just kind of sneaks sneaks past the two of them and just kind of heads to the door and checks for traps. There's it's no a, door there. It's, a, it's an archway. Well, she checks the archway for traps. There is no traps in the archway, but don't worry, you don't need to check for that. 
Nevrock, we'll um, go to that other library on our way out. <laughs> Nate just okay. kind of checks this door over here. All right, roll a investigation. I checked the other door. I will help. I don't know what these in score is. Two. She's better than me. Yeah. So I guess I'll help that out, folks. I got it. This seems more competent. I got eleven. DM. Um, I'm gonna go light some incense. Well, I'm gonna actually, I got that juju. <laughs> I need to white uh just ward off the bad juju that's all over my fucking dice uh, right now. Okay. Day, you find out the door is trapped and it is also locked. What does Roke find out? Roke finds out that that door is well. Let me double check. It's got a handle. I can it, tell you that much. It does have a handle. <laughs> I open the handle. It is unlocked. From what you. Uh, I, oh wait, I no. open it. I might have. Jay just kind of turns yeah, to. it's unlocked. Just kind of turns to Goldie because I cannot pronounce your name properly. I'm sorry. That's fair. Navro. Turns to Goldie and she goes. This is an extremely trapped door with an extremely with, that is extremely locked. Hmm, sounds really like there's something say. good behind it. Sounds extreme. There's a chest. Nagroff, there. I'm not touching Why is this that. black? That, but I am not touching I don't know. that. I opened the chest. Thank you. One second. Finally, a player character death. Finally, a player character so stupid to open a motherfucking chest without checking it. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I was actually gonna stab it with a scimitar just in case it's a fucking. Uh, what's you it know called? nothing um, about mimics. Mimic. Fuck you. I no one knows me. about mimics unless you actually dungeon dive, and you've never dungeon dive. I've been alive for 312 years, and I've never heard of a, of a mimic. Pretty much, most people don't I'm deal with mimic. mimics anymore. Because there's no dungeons well, at to least dive I'll in. I'll check for traps. I'm gonna check it for traps. Are you gonna touch it for that? Check it for teeth. Twenty. Let me check. It bites well, me. It looks to normal. Around the trapping, seeing if there's any way to deactivate them. It's a normal chest. Bullshit. Well, I know it's not a mimic. DC twenty, I believe, is there. No. No, it's twenty-five, mm. isn't it? Who knows, you know? I open the chest. Nobody knows. I open the chest. All right. As you touch the chest. I stick to it because it's a mimic. Yes. Uh, <gasps> it has a false appearance, so you can't tell if it's a mimic or not. Fucking mimics, man. Um, <laughs> I would like to say I stuck my scimitar in its mouth to open the chest, but too late now. Um, Yay, a hand stuck to it. So do we hear Roke screaming that his hand is stuck to the fucking chest? So you automatically uh uh grappled by it by stick by touching it. Uh yeah. mm -hmm. and it's going to use its action to change into the mimic, which I literally had just on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there like Wah. I knew it never trust a lone chest yeah duh or a room full of chests at least eight of those chests might be a mimic or all of them <laughs> will be a mimic because it's a man basically hand. never trust a chest yeah eight unless eight it's chests. a dungeon or, unless it's a treasure room where you just beat a boss you know then you can kind of trust it are mimics what if it's just a fucked up boss where like, oh my chest don't mimic, so... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. No, uh, well after this experience, he will stab everything that ever lives. <laughs> so uh, the uh... experience as a dungeon master, uh, as a dungeon delver, just stab the chest first. Yeah, now you know. Just, just stab it. Uh, I need... What day and uh, Navroth? What are you two doing? We are figuring out a way to 
disarm the traps on the other door. Okay, and Rook, would you yell out loud? Uh, did it hit, by the way? Oh, there, it doesn't get to, uh... It doesn't get to, uh, uh... Attack? Attack. attack. It gets to polymorph into its normal form. Um... While you hear, Later. coming down this hall, where you can easily see Rook if you turn the fuck around, <laughs> is... Fuck. And roll initiative, I'm guessing. Oh, yes. It will get a sneak attack round. I'm going to give it that. Because oh, fuck you. it's a mimic. Oh, come on. I you, it, hate mimics. It should get it, because it deserves it. Because you Oh, have it. I told you guys this joke? Um, so, um, three, a, an orc, a dwarf, and an elf walk into a bar. Well, not exactly. The dwarf walks underneath it. Yay. Uh, make sure to click your tokens before rolling, please. Uh, yeah. uh, I'll just click it again. I rolled fucking good already. for once, man. I rolled good for once. You did, but you can't. Like, false appearance, man. It's a bitch. Also, my hand just... Did I use both hands to open the chest? Did you? Yeah. My familiar gun did. Would you? Mm -hmm. No, I'd, pr I'd probably stick a sword into the mouth of the chest and then one hand up open it with it you know okay then you have a sword stuck to it and also a hand stuck it's, to it it's a fucked up you stabbed the, the person way. stuck inside the chest oh uh, you stabbed the hostage well, shouldn't have been eaten by a mimic uh, um oh yeah um by the way day. so like I was I went to a bar and one of the barkeeps asked why I always had a sword on me, and uh, I said mimics and he, I laughed. He oh, laughed. I've, I've the bar it. laughed. I killed the bar. It was a good time. If we killed the bar. <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> I've heard that joke before many a time. So, uh, uh, day, you need to roll initiative. I like bringing old jokes in because it's funny for me. Day. Day, roll initiative. Please. You need to click on your thing, and then you go into your character sheet, and Wait, beside yeah. where your armor class is, you click initiative. <laughs> Fuck, no, I'm thinking of alert, not sentinel. Is the AFK? Ah. Roll initiative! We're fighting the chest, with teeth. We're fighting a mimic. Oh, oh, um, okay. All Pretty good. Right. The mimic I rolled high. Nice. I like rolling. Apparently, I'm above Nazaroth. Yep. Yeah, I will. And my familiar. What's the mimic's initiative? Who knows? You know, um, it goes after you, Rook. But it does have okay. that wonderful sneak attack round yay and that's when it will shape change ah, fuck you. and you see as this beautiful chest turns into just this maw of teeth just staring fuck. you down it's like <laughs> tasty tasty mm -mm -mm. you're gonna be pretty good aren't you <laughs> just take a javelin jam it down its throat <laughs> And it's, going, <laughs> it's going to move. I can literally throw javelins for yeah. days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you get disadvantage because you're right in front of me. It's going to move there. Actually, you got that thing. I have close quarters combat. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's yeah. your turn, Rook. Um, I pulled the M other scimitar. I just let go of the one that stuck to its fucking lips. Uh, pull the other scimitar from the back, and I chop into it. All right, so twice. Go ahead and roll. You have disadvantage on these. Oh. So fourteen Ooh. and 11. fourteen and eleven. You hit one of those times. Don't know which one. Fine slashing damage. Um. And. Um. Well. Five. 
fuck. Can I try to get free? Uh, that would have taken your action. Yeah, I was hoping. Uh, then, because... Fuck it. I use Fear Bulk Magic and disguise myself as a fucking mimic. It's not weird. <laughs> like, it looks at it. Like, it's not dumb. <laughs> it's not stupid. I'm joking. I don't do that. That's not even funny. <laughs> just like, you turn into a chest yourself, just with a hand. <laughs> no, like, a chest, and that's my tongue. <laughs> like, oh. You're making out with it. <laughs> you make A girl chest. It has a bow on it. It does not I fall don't do, for it. I um, don't do that. What? No, I can make a. Per, can I make a per, uh, performance check? No. Do you end your turn? I don't do that, by the way, DM. <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> that would be funny. I'd it would be, be funny. Killed by, my party. killed by the party, though. Oh, <laughs> God. The mimic ate him. Uh, the mimic gets to do something. What will it do? Kill me. Die. No, it's a it mimic. Chooses it chooses to suicide. suicide. It just set it just randomly, like the the ceiling parts, and the, the and then a clouds come in, and then standing before us is Baham Bahamut, Bahamut, Bahamut. Yes. The fucking god. Uh, god. So it's the dragon to... boy. So it rolled a natural twenty. Muhammad. It rolled a natural twenty on its check to bite its own tongue off. No, it's going to try to bite off Rook's hand off. Wait, fuck you. Mm. Because mm mm mm, that furball hand. Mm -hmm. If I have a prosthetic hand by the end of this dungeon, DM, I swear to God, that'd be really cool. <laughs> you take twelve points your hand would suck, but getting a prosthetic like a metal. How much? Twelve points, and three of that is acidic. Ah, lovely. I'm down from sixty-four to forty-five. You have more HP than me. And day, it is your turn. You hear a rook go ah. Oh, go ah. Ouchie. And you hear uh, a no, soft go. nibble. <laughs> Nam. No, here is Nam. Nom. Can you keep him as a pet? No. How does they respond? A Day's pet dead. mimic. How would that work? I had a pet mimic before in a other campaign. It was cute. How does that work? It was more or less I had. It was a mimic, mimicked as a backpack. So. So uh, you just threw it at your enemies. Yeah, like people tried to steal my backpack. And it was a rude awakening. Like, wait, could you actually put stuff inside mimics? Yeah, mimics hold items. Ah, uh, mimic of holding. <laughs> Technically, they're just great. Can I attempt to tame bag of the mimic? Can I attempt to tame the mimic? No, it's hungry. No. You're hungry. And I they... have a. We have a lot of meat. It's true. I used to have a bag of holding full of meat. We have a them. lot of food. Also, Day. Day, are you there? Hello, Damus. Hello, Day, Day, my old friend. You have two more minutes, so I'm going to skip your turn. Oh, sorry, sorry. Day just kind of runs in just past the door, and she goes... Just rips out her flute, because she does not want to... Because her flute is her quick spellcaster. Thunderwave. <laughs> <laughs> What's the range uh, on Thunderwave? Fuck you. Fifteen, uh, 15 feet, I think. feet. And it's in one direction, so it goes this way. So you fuck only hit you. Rook from where you are. <laughs> mm, fuck you. Are you sure you want to cast Thunderwave right there? You could get up like right beside it and cast it straight into the wall so that it only hits the minute. Yeah, it would still hit me. No, actually, she can direction it in a certain way because it's a yeah. uh, it's a cone shape. Give me a second. I can't exactly move right now because there's a lot of thunder waves and they're not exactly letting me delete it. 
So Day just kind of runs up right here, and she angles it, and she just shoots off a thunder wave. Okay. So I still take damage. My arm is in its mouth. Oh, yeah. You're going to take the damage. Make a con save. That arm's coming off. Okay, you know what? You take eight points of thunder damage. I seriously fucking hate my dice rolls this today, man. And it takes eight points of thunder damage. A turn isn't that bad. To get rid of it, right? I have to click the little red dot next to it. Yep. Well, no, uh, that's more or less. Uh, you need to get rid of. Uh, ooh, let me pull up on your character sheet. Thunderwave being a first level spell, you see how there's two fours on your character sheet. Uh, on the spell sheet. Yeah, two three, pretty much. Yep. There we go. That's how many slots you have remaining. Okay. Maybe refill every long rest. And also, yep. you should have two uh, back to three second level spells. So you are good. Yeah, out the door. Nigroth, get in here. There's an evil chest. Hmm. Nigroth, it is your turn. I'm gonna run up to the door. I hate uh, that. Makes... I'm <laughs> gonna I say. Hmm. No, as a DM, I love that. Because I love giving people false hope. You know. <laughs> It's like, ooh, a chest! And everybody learns very quickly. Ooh, a chest. Okay, oh, everybody oh. gather around it, and everybody stab at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna chromatic orb again. Yay, is... damage. It's doing fire. You do hit. So, I'm plus four. So, seven good. Jesus Christ. I don't take damage from that. That's good. And it yep. slams into it. And it ignites. And you're damn. That's a lot of damage. Uh, no. I don't take damage. No, you don't. But it does. And it, it, it doesn't look happy. Kill it. Rook, it is your turn. That's good. Okay, I stab it. Ag stab it two times. One, two. You have disadvantage? So, 18, and... Fucking hell! One of them hit. The 18. Nine points. That's max damage right there. It explodes. If only. And do you end your turn up? Um, can I use my bonus action to make another attack? Do you have the ability to do so? Uh, uh no, it's not ability. Uh, what it would do is I take away my proficiency modifier. I know that's if you're dual wielding, and you're not dual wielding. In one hand, uh, he's wielding the mimic. In the other hand, he's wielding a sword. No. Yeah, can I just like with my other hand just like grab stuff? No. <laughs> 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 just like try to dr grab its fucking guts. If if you were dual wielding your blades, yes, but not now. There's a reason I got two scimitars, so I could dual wield. But one of them stuck to the fucking mimic. Yeah, and it's dented. Yeah, it's dented. Because you tried to cut a statue's head off. Eh, it can still do damage. Dented it enough, it'll just start doing bludgeoning damage. Like, <laughs> it's. <laughs> yeah. You fuck up your weapon long enough, it's just a bludgeoning weapon at that point. <laughs> it actually gets stronger. It's more than... Okay, uh, I have my turn. Alright, it's going... has advantage on you, so it's gonna stick on... stick to biting you. Oh cool. yeah, funny thing is, I, I really hoped it would attack day. Oh, I should've done frostbite. 17 really plus helps. 5. It's... Alright, after all this damage. It hits me with the 17, man. Uh, 8 points of damage. 5 of that is acidic. Uh, eight points. Well. <sighs> Have a heart, but don't die, die, die. And day, it is your turn. Um, 
day just goes frick and she just pulls out her dagger and she just starts stabbing at the chest. All right. Stab in the face. Dagger. The whole thing is a face. You're not wrong. Uh, you hit. And roll them. And select the word dagger. After, like, right under the roll. You deal four points. I'm just like, eh. Big damage. A shank. Fucking shit. It. Short prison justice. Yeah, prison justice. As never. <laughs> it is your turn. Day, do you want to do anything else? Like, run away? <laughs> Why yeah, do you Day make that suggestion? Like, the room and she goes, nope! That's good. Alright, now you you do know about uh, attacks of opportunity. It's gonna it's gonna try and bite you. Yeah, no, it's not. No. Sentinel, motherfucker. Yeah, sent <laughs> nope. She backs up like right to the wall and goes. Nope. You get an attack of opportunity if it tries to bite people. Yes. Uh, and yes. That does not hit. <laughs> bite me though. It's kind of Ooh. like fishing line with Rook's arm. In days I'm guessing I dropped the weapon. No, I'm not gonna have you negative. I don't do that. Unless like you roll it twice in a row, then then maybe. But uh, they what's your AC? My AC. Yeah. My armor class. Yeah. My armor class is fifteen. Fifteen. It just barely hit you. Fuck. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck. That that is fourteen points of damage. To me. Yes. You might need to take a short rest after this. What, 42 minus 14, or what was it? Uh, 28. If we're going to go take a short rest, we should go back to the library. 28? Was it 14 or 28? Uh, the damage, if the damage was 14, then your HP should be at 28. Okay. Thank you. KDM? Hey, yes. Once we go to take a short rest, I'm going to need to leave for the night. All right. By that point, I'm thinking we've played for about three and a half hours. Yeah, we've been going for two hours three and hours 42 so minutes so far. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah. I don't expect that, uh, but just because... um. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff. Came right. up. Don't worry. Stuff and things. Stuff and things. Uh, things and stuff. Indeed. Navarro. Indeed. I am going to kill him. Please. Is there any metric which I would be able to tell that this thing is looking rough? Not really? You've never seen a mimic before, so. Um, there's a metric of looking at Roke and realizing he's looking rough. His arm is fucking bleeding. Out. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, DM, look at my health on my uh, character sheet right now. If I were to give Which my familiar a dragon's breath, would the dragon's breath be able to avoid hurting his companion? No, because Rook is literally stuck to him. You stuck My to arm him. is in its mouth. <laughs> they are grappled, and technically. I'm going to give Roke a haste. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. And that's my turn. Your movement is still zero. But I can make three see. attacks now. Yeah, you can make three yeah. attacks. So you could use your action to try and get out of it and then still attack. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Smart. What do I need to roll? And, uh, did it go for, did it get to hit you, Rob? Um, I know it hit Day, 
but did it hit you broke? Yeah. I'm what? not sure if it, if it had its turn. Yeah. Yeah, no, it made an attack against Day, and then I took the damage. Because... That was an attack of opportunity. Yeah, that was an attack of opportunity, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, let, no, let, it, just... let it go ahead and attack you, Rogue. It's just going to nibble you. on your arm a little bit. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> like, Why does it like my arm so much? Because it's the closest thing to it. And Is it because it's also... I've been eating berries and mostly vegetables? Some meat, but mostly vegetables for my entire life? Do, do I taste that good? You're very no. nutritious. It's just, oh, it's already in my mouth. I'll just nom on this. <laughs> Fucking nom. Uh, 16 to hit, by the way. Yeah, it... With plus two, I see. It hits a hard oh, spot. Oh. 16, 17, 18. AC's 18 now. Yeah, it hits a hard spot. It, it can't, it doesn't do damage. <laughs> it hits the edge of my leather armor. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, now it is your turn, Rook. Okay, uh, can I? I want to use my extra action to get out of this. All right, make a uh, strength check. Not a athletics. Nah, athletics, yeah, but athletics works. Nice. You break out. Fuck it. You're just like you tear your hand away from this. Okay, I tear sticky... my hand away, and then I just like pull the freaking. Some tart, like, ah, ah. My arm is fucking <laughs> fucked up, man. Mild. Ooh. That's damage. Ah, the death of a mimic. 19 total. Let me double check its HP and. How? How far away can I cast Cure Wounds or. You have to be oh, right beside the person. It's a touch spell, so you have to touch me. Um, so do I kill it? Yo, yes. How do you want to? Okay. Nice. So basically, where the hinges would be, I chop once with the scimitar, like a machete. Chop twice and just sever the top half of its body. You do that, and it lands. The tongue goes soft. Just the teeth, nothing. It bleeds the strange greenish purple blood. Uh, acid. And it just stops moving. <gasps> can I use some of the vials? Uh, can I is can I tell if the blood is acidic? The blood, uh, if you you touch it, uh, it's like the best way to find out. And the blood isn't really is it... acidic. Okay. It's uh, more or less. It was a, a a thing that it had with its saliva, which will slowly go away. Um, I loot the corpse. Uh, okay. You and I grab my scimitar back from it. There are bones of not so smart people uh, mm. in this. Uh, you find about ten gold. Cool. And that's about it. Okay. I suggest I... we take a rest yes. to get our spirits and our uh, constitution back up. Yeah, as I'm kicking the fucking corpse. <laughs> I'm pissed at this thing, man. No one's killed me. So I'm gonna roll hit dice and then I'll leave. Well, do you all head to the library first, or do you stay in this one? Right? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. Head, we're gonna head to the library. All right. There was this library with a, a blue man. He was very helpful. Uh, it seemed safe enough there. Okay, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm guessing, do we get to the library first before I continue rolling that dice? Yeah, one second. Fuck you, no. So I don't take yeah. those hit dice off. So. No. Navroth, once you turn the corner, you can see one of those gargoyles is just staring down the hallway at you. It's moved, but it doesn't mm. seem like any like it's moved, but its body has not strange as that sounds. It's in the same position as it was in the other part of the room. Yeah. It's Wait a minute. 
Um, so I'm going to take out my bow and shoot the fucking thing, Dan. I've had enough with the uh, chest. I don't trust anything right now. I don't like these things. Uh. So I shoot it twice with my great bow. The shutter would be real good way to go now. Up the wall, and she just kind of stands there. I'm away from the keyboard. I just stepped away after that fucking natural one. Yeah. He cast Thunder Wave again. Hey, DM. Yeah. Let's end it here for tonight. I'm done. Ah, <laughs> uh, here, wait, here. It's, it's the amount we've gone through, but also, god damn it. Because of uh, how long we've been playing, but also... Uh, my yeah. dice rolls tonight have just... I'm totally done. <laughs> yeah. All of those, uh, miss. <laughs> First. Okay, cool. And I... I'm out. And they save <laughs> against the thunder wave, so they take out damage. Uh, Only... so DM? Yeah. A good game tonight? Yeah, good game. Uh, I'm gonna curse the dice gods, so, uh... <laughs> I uh, wish you luck then. Dude, God. Like, if this was a physical game, you would see me throw my dice across the fucking room right now, man. <laughs> I'm not you joking. You that with your own set of dice, or just take something that's soft and throw it across the room. Or your shoe, that works too. No, Pick up your computer uh, and throw it across the room. So, some D&D players, like myself, and Laura Bailey and stuff, are superstitious about their dice. And if a dice keeps fucking you, it goes to jail. Dorks. Oh, for an undisclosed amount of time. <laughs> right, DM? Yes. And also... As a DM, you've probably done it. I'm probably not going to release mm. this, this little episode on YouTube. Okay. Uh, yet. Mainly because of... If I do, you all will see things that you're not supposed to see. Makes sense. Also, I haven't seen, watched a single episode of your YouTube channel. No, Sorry. don't worry. It's literally just the episode of y'all's campaign, a recap of y'all's campaign, and uh, group one, I the audio fucked up on the last session's recording, so, yeah. so I've got everything fixed up for, for now, thankfully, and also I'm visuals. One of those, yeah, the only D&D game I watch is uh, Critical Role. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I do this more or less so, uh, you players, if you miss a session, you might actually get to know what happened. Yeah, yeah. I don't like listening to my own voice. It sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, think about editing, editing this. It's not <laughs> strange. But I don't, I don't think I'm just gonna edit anymore. Let's screw that shit. Yeah. <laughs> If any members of Group 1 are watching oh. this, you're a dog. If any members of Group 1 are watching this, fuck off. If any members of Group 1 is watching this, draw pictures of all the stuff we have done because I'd really like to see your artistic interpretation of our fuck-ups. Yeah. You gotta have to see a drawing or... of that high-five between Navrath and... I would love to see a drawing of um, Roke threatening the life of the dwarf every couple, th uh, about ten times a day. I would really enjoy seeing that scene where I hug um, Rook and then I slap him after he slapped me and hugged yeah. me. <laughs> I hugged you after. And then I hugged you and then I slapped you and then I hugged you again. Friendship. Rook kind of sees you like a little sister, the way you act. Which well, is hard for so me. Uh, the compared DM... to all of you, she's like a baby. She's 17. Yeah. Well, uh, DM, uh, which I forgot to put in my backstory. He did have a family, by the way. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, he lost his entire family. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, he kind of sees you like a sibling. And then Navroth... Did you find them again? As uh, Navroth is a business partner, and then the dwarf is a fucking shit stain. That's awfully rude. He had a family member, quote unquote, die recently. The dwarf almost killed our horses, man. 
almost kill their horses. My character doesn't know that, but still. Mm. Uh, the dwarf and the uh, rogue have like conflicting personalities, man. Hopefully, it gets uh, fixed over time. But Seems anyway, like this. Good d game tonight. Have a good day. Night. Yeah. You all too. I wish you all happy days. Good luck. And all your adventures. Be uncursed. I I can curse you. <laughs> I curse you. Um, I hope you all live happy and interest and an interesting live times. Live long and prosper. No, no, no. I hope you guys have a good day and live in interesting times. I hope today was a better than average day, and I hope tomorrow is even better. Oh come on! No one got that fucking curse. No one knows nope. of the interesting times. Um, basically, when no you say "I hope you live in interesting times," you're you're disguising a um, bad luck, you're wishing bad luck on someone as good luck. You're trying to disguise it. Where'd you hear that? It depends on how you well, see interesting. Yeah. yeah, no. I hope you live in interesting times. That doesn't say it's good for you. Just interesting times. Yeah. It depends on how you see interesting. True. But, uh, night. Alright. Night, you all. Good night. I wish you all a happy day. A Merry Christmas. See you. See you. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs>